What's going on, guys? Hello, all, and welcome to another episode of Geeking and Drinking. My name is Eddie, and I'm joined with my brothers. Steven. I'm Matt. And uh, we are coming at you with episode 25 of Geeking and Drinking, and um, we have a very stacked, packed show for you guys. Uh, a lot of trailers, a lot of uh, news that came out of Comic-Con, which we're going to be covering um, you know, in this episode. Uh, if you're new to Geeking and Drinking, we are a podcast with uh, three brothers. Um, and yeah. Three brothers. Three brothers. Yeah. Um, three brothers that uh, that love movies, love TV, love uh, everything pop culture, all that nerdy stuff. We love music. We talk about all that stuff. And most importantly, we talk about Texas beers. And um, Texas beer. We got a... Or we uh, <clears throat> we actually enjoy some good Texas beers yeah. Yeah. While, while we're nerding out. Well, uh, okay. So, <laughs> um, if you saw our last episode, we <coughs> took a trip to Taylor, Texas, where we visited our friends at Texas Beer Co. We sat down with JD Gins, and it was a fantastic episode. I had lots of fun. Uh, I don't know how, how, how was your guys' trip? Did you have fun? Uh, it was good. I had a lot of fun. There. <laughs> I was waiting for Matthew. Wait. I thought Matthew was gonna oh. jump in in there, but uh, no, it, it it was great. It was a uh, Cool trip. The only thing I, that I just didn't like, man, it was just uh, so Taylor is is north of, of Austin, Texas, and of course Austin, Texas has a whole bunch of toll roads, and just trying to get around those. I mean, it's, it's not that that expensive to take the toll roads, but I just I still don't want to pay for driving on a highway. You know, <laughs> it's just I'm just that's just me. <laughs> yeah, at one point we were like driving just kind of like on a road, and, and they're like, like, "Oh wait, you're supposed to take that exit. Oh wait, you're supposed to turn it. Oh wait, yeah." <laughs> um, how are you? How are you, Matt? How was, how was your trip? It was fun. Um, I enjoyed the brewery. I enjoyed the tap room and all the many, many beers that they have other than their own their own beers. They, have, they uh, have a wide variety from like St. Arnold, uh, Hop and Sting, I think, and, and other ones. Yeah, they had a, they had a pretty uh, stacked, uh, uh, you know, taps with a bunch of Texas beers. And anything um, that you can drink if you're not a, <coughs> if you're new to craft beer, so... Yeah. And uh, if you guys haven't seen it, I uh, just want to make a little correction here because Eddie said uh, we're back with the episode 25, but we are actually on episode 26. So oh. uh, if you want to watch the uh, episode 25 where we visited Texas uh, Beer Co. in Taylor, Texas, not Tyler, Taylor, and uh, check it out. They, they had a real interesting story on how they uh, they came to be and um, how they uh, decided where they were going to set up and, and where they were going to have the brewery in Taylor. Uh, they were, I mm-hmm. uh, believe they were originally uh, living in Austin and and then decided to uh, move into a little small town. And um, they started off just just, just, with, just with the tap room before they actually started brewing. Um, and then uh, the, the story of them, um, that the, the beer is a, uh, is a community. Uh, what, what was it? Kick- Kickstarter. Yeah. Kickstarted, they yeah. kickstarted to so they can build up the pilot brewery uh, inside that tap room itself, and then from there they moved down the street to uh, oh, yeah, to a much, a uh, bigger much more bigger brewing space. open brewery space, where they do the main brewing and the main packaging, packaging and, and manu and science, science. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty cool. <laughs> Um, but yeah, like I said, um, if you haven't already, go check out that episode. It's on the YouTube. It's also available. Uh, we were a little we were, we were a little late with it, but it's now available on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Play, and anywhere else you find podcasts. So go and check it out. Like I said, you know. And if you ever want to, you know, you know, go get out on uh, for a weekend and go visit a good brewery, go visit Taylor, Texas. Visit Texas Beer Co. Uh, I know every Saturday you uh, they have uh, a beer tour. You get uh, for ten bucks, you get a glass and three, three fills, three pours, three pours. So I mean, it's a sixteen ounce glass. You know, yeah. it's really cool. And for, ten, and for ten bucks, three pours. I mean, uh, you, you I think and the beers aren't, aren't that expensive in the tap room. I think they're like five, five six bucks, yeah. just depending on what you get. But still, I mean, even then, you know, for the for the brewery tour, you know, I, w- I would go visit the brewery. 
get the glass, get the three pours, and then go visit uh, the tap room down the street. And you, and you can meet Suds the cat because he's pretty cool. Yeah. Suds. He's the, 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 bar, the bodyguard of the brewery. Yeah. He keeps all the rats out. Security. <laughs> but uh, thank you to JD. Thank you to his wife, Megan. You know, thank you to everybody at Texas Beer Cool for having us out. Um, it was a lot of fun. And we're not done with them yet because we are featuring uh, their, their, uh, it, their, their one-off their one -off beer, IPA, the Hoppy Clouds, made with peaches. And you could definitely taste the peaches. Yeah. We had this beer on the episode. Uh, we And um, as of now, it gets kind of uh, going away in stores because, you know, they're, they only had a limited amount. Mm -hmm. So um, I just heard uh, the Hoppy Monk, I believe. Has it on their tap? Oh tap yeah, yeah. Here Happy in Monk and uh, I think uh, Pizza Pizza Italia here in SA. They just uh, had yeah. a release party the other day. <coughs> um, so if you can find it, I suggest try it out because it's, uh, it was, it's it was just, we actually picked it's this really really low. Yeah, we picked up this uh, uh, four pack. That's all they said in four pack um, in uh, Round Rock. So we saved it for this in yes. episode. So we're gonna you know pour these beers in these glasses. And honestly, these could be the last of these Hoppy Clouds. If they didn't sell them all. Uh, later on in the show, we do we are featuring another beer uh, from a different brewery uh, from our from friends at Fourth Tap. So uh, you know we'll um, you know when That's we uh, it, crack that one open, we'll let you guys know what we're drinking then. Uh, we, when we were in, actually, when we visited uh, uh, Tyler, Taylor, Tyler, Taylor, 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 um, T A Y. That was, that was Tyler. Yeah, I'm, I'm it's Tyler. Getting that, getting that confused. Anyway, um, it's Taylor. It's Tyler. It's Taylor. He said Tyler. Watch, watch the episode. Yeah. Have you seen the episode, Steven? Have you seen the episode, Steven? <laughs> uh, Wait, we, um, what are you talking about? We... I'm confused what? here. What? Why are we arguing about Taylor and Tyler? I don't know. <laughs> Johnson, Taylor, Thomas. Um, we, uh, when we were uh, in... The when original we, kids. Somewhere. When we were in Round Rock, we uh, visited our friends at Fourth Tap. So we ran into John, <coughs> uh, another good friend of, of the show. And uh, we also visited a brewery in Round Rock, which is in that of uh, Blue Bonnet Brewing Co. And they're a small brewery starting out. You know, nicest people. Their brewery was closed when we actually uh, arrived. And they, yeah, they, like, they, oh. they opened up their chaps for us. You know, we had a beer, talked to them for a little while. And, I know, was yeah. highly intoxicated when we were there. I <laughs> couldn't. I wasn't listening to have to because I was just focusing <laughs> on just standing up. Yeah, and was, finishing the beer. It was, it was, <coughs> it was pretty good. We had, we had a cream ale. But, um, so yeah, yeah, it was a really delicious famous. cream ale. So... The and then uh, shout out to also uh, uh, Backdraft Pizza. Their pizza was really good. We got to uh, kept us sober for yeah. an hour. For an hour, yeah. <laughs> so um, if you guys are ready, I'm ready to drink this beer because I mean, look how awesome it looks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can see the peaches. How peachy? Boom. It's peachy. Boom. Boom. And. Um, for those of you wondering where Ernest is at, uh, he is out of town. Um, Again. Skydiving. Sky, yeah, <laughs> skydiving. Um, actually, I'm probably screaming because he's skydiving. <laughs> uh, but he will, be, he will be back on the next episode. You know, we just, you know, like I said, some of us are, you know, have, uh, uh, you know, he's celebrating, work he's or, celebrating you know, his birthdays uh, to celebrate. So. He's celebrating his future uh, brother-in-law's birthday right now this weekend. Yeah, so, like I said, he will be back next episode. So, just, you know. In case anybody misses him, because I know I do. <coughs> I know Eddie does. Me. So yeah, we um, while we were over there um, last weekend, a lot of uh, exciting stuff was happening because it was San Diego Comic Con 2019, and uh, of course with that comes a, a, a bunch of trailers, a bunch of announcements. I know uh, you know if you follow, I'm pretty sure most of you have heard of it. And if you haven't, um, you know of course there's a lot of uh, exciting news coming out of Marvel. Uh, some, some, like I said, some a lot of trailers, um, some sequels, some, mm -hmm. um, some reboots. So I was, you know, the one one thing that kind of um, that I want to tackle first that you know was one of the first pieces of news that came out was the uh, new it Chapter Two trailer that dropped, and it, you know, it's a sequel to obviously the, to the first it came out last year, and it it just tells the second part of the of the of this horror tale, from, you know. From uh, what Derry, mm -hmm. the Derry. city of Derry, so yep, um, little town of Derry. So it's you know stars James McAvoy, Bill Hader, Jessica Chastain, uh, <coughs> other, a bunch of other the old Spice guy, the old Spice guy, <laughs> Spice guy. a bunch of uh, a bunch not of other. Terry Crews, but the uh, the other, yeah, the old other Spice one, guy, the original. <laughs> Did y'all get a chance to watch the trailer? Yes, yes, uh, I saw it. Uh, I think I've seen it like uh, twenty I times already. Like, yeah, me too. How would y'all think? 
Uh, spooky. Looks pretty good. It's I mean, I'm not, not gonna lie. Uh, um, I mean, with with a lot of the the Stephen King remakes that are coming out, I think it is probably one of the ones I'm a little most excited about. I haven't seen Pet Cemetery yet, but I, I've heard mixed reviews about that. And even when I saw the trailer for that one, I wasn't too excited. And I'm a huge yeah, fan yeah, of, yeah, of that yeah. one from the original. But I like the original. One too. But um, it was creepy. Excuse me. But in watching this one, what I what I really love about this version of it is that it's it's a movie version. Uh, that we get in theaters where they can do a lot more than what they did in the TV movie version. Uh, so it, it, it's just just amazing and creepy and yeah, I, I'm, I'm excited for it. I'm, re- I'm super stoked for it. Sorry to interrupt you, Stephen, but I called dibs on the last one. Uh, you, you, you do what you want. <laughs> okay. He, so, did, he did buy them. But yeah, uh, I don't know. Um, I feel like it's not going to... F- they're going to try to make it seem off top the first one. Although, I will say real quick, though, what the hell was up with the tongue licking on the glass? That, that was just creepy <laughs> as hell for me. <laughs> it's, 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 and, 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 and not creepy like scary creepy, just creepy like just like creep. <laughs> like, dirty. I, mean, I, I don't even know this, but Pennywise is kind of a creep. Yeah, he hunts Pervert. little kids. So, uh, yeah, so I heard that they actually like showed uh, some scenes to that people that were in the. Um, uh, the you know I guess the, the panel the the H had the some panel. additional footage and from what I hear that it was just it's pretty like some some just intense stuff yeah and like you know that you think the first one was you know pretty uh, pretty intense this one you know is gonna just knock it out of the park yeah. so I'm very excited for it comes out I believe ah, damn it I forgot what day it comes out yeah. fall September September October fall I think it's September I just it's September September 18th Near Halloween. I believe yeah. Near fall so, season. Um, IMDb. Spooky season. <laughs> um, so another another trailer we got, I think that same day, like a couple of hours uh, after the <coughs> chapter two trailer dropped, we got us, um, you know, and he had been teasing that he's going to be at in, at, uh, at Comic-Con, that they're going to do a panel for his new movie. They were going to debut the trailer. Um, and the trailer actually debuted online ahead of the panel, and, and it was um, Jane Silent Bob reboot, which is Kevin Smith's uh, sequel to Jane Silent Bob Strike Back, obviously. Yeah. Um, I know me and you, or I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure all three of us have been big Kevin Smith fans, you know, <laughs> from uh, Mar Rats, Chasing Amy, um, um, uh, Clerks uh, 1 and 2. Uh, and I know he's he still, you know, makes movies. Jersey uh, Girl. He kind of, yeah, he still makes <laughs> movies, you know, uh, yeah. like Tusk and uh, Yoga Holzers, you know, kind of, he kind of makes the yeah, movies that he wants then, to yeah, make. remember Red State? Yeah, Red yeah. State, he did uh, Cop, Cop Out. Out. Cop Out. And then, uh, uh, and then he even does uh, TV shows. TV shows. Uh, he directed a few TV sh- uh, uh, Super episodes Girl, of The Flash, Flash, Flash Supergirl. Supergirl. So. I think Arrow. <clears throat> no, not Arrow. So, I mean, he's still, you know, he's still out there, you know, directing stuff, you know. And, um, he also has his, his, his own podcast or show. Uh, Fat Man Beyond. S- Fat Man Beyond. Used to be called Fat Man on Batman. Yeah, but then he got in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> so, you can't do that. So. Can't do that, man. So, um, I know originally <coughs> one of his, uh, one of the ideas that he wanted to do was uh, a, a third clerk clerks movie uh and i guess they couldn't just get the story down um and well, eventually I mean, I he's, he's been he's been wanting to do a lot of stuff i mean he's been he's been wanting to do james and bob again uh mall rats and uh and then like you said another third clerks movie and um i mean if, if you're if you're a big kevin smith fan like i am you know you're, you're excited about these but some some people are just like no i mean I think he he can pull it off. I mean, Clerks too. I was a little iffy about when it first came out, but it, it was freaking hilarious. Uh, the cast on it too, even some of the, because uh, I mean, he always uses some of the, the same uh, actors. You know, all his you know they mm-hmm. they've all become buddies and things like that. So uh, it, and it's, you get to see them all playing their same characters and or something and something a little different. Like I, yeah. I just I just liked when uh, Jason Lee's character came out on Clerks too, <laughs> and he. Uh, at the time is when uh, my name is Earl was was on uh, mm-hmm. that his uh, TV show and so he still had like the mustache and stuff so he kind of couldn't really shave it yeah uh, but you know so they had him play a different character because he's usually he plays Brody on Mallrats and uh, and uh, Banky and uh, Chase and Amy mm-hmm. so um, but it, it's good to see that he's he's gonna be back in it yeah I mean mm-hmm. like a lot of, a lot of the original you know cast from the old Kevin Smith movies are are back uh, along with a bunch of other you know. Uh, um, you know, actors and actresses. Like I know Val Kilmer, Chris Hemsworth, um, 
Harley Quinn Smith, which is uh, his daughter, his daughter, Matt Damon, Ben Athlete. You know, they've all been real good friends for a long time. So, you know, he always calls in those favors from them. Joe Manganiello, <laughs> you know, Shannon Elizabeth's back as Justice. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's a pretty, pretty stacked cast, and you know, and like I said, I, I've, I've been uh, a big fan of his, so I personally can't wait. And you know who, who, uh, who makes appearance in the trailer? And I'm not sure who plays the same character from um, from um, Zach and Mary. It's Justin Long. Justin Long makes an appearance in the tra- in the oh, yeah. in the reboot trailer, yeah, and, yeah, yeah, he, yeah, and right. he looks like his character from uh, sounds Zach like and Mary. Too. Talks uh, like sounds like Randy too. Saint Randy. <laughs> <coughs> oh my god, yeah. <laughs> dude, that part attention in Monrovers. <laughs> that part in 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 uh, in uh, Zach and Mary totally caught me off guard. I mean. Just the way he just portrayed a, a gay porn star. I was just like, oh, dude, this is <laughs> freaking hilarious. Your mother and her drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me started. <laughs> oh, I apologize. Excuse me. Hello, me rovers. <laughs> I am. <laughs> what I am, is it? I am Randy St. Randy. Randy. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, that's pretty. It, uh, if, you, if you haven't seen Zach or, or any of his Karen Smith movies, I highly suggest go check him out because. Honestly, he was probably one of the first ones to do like a connected, uni- uh, like not so much connected universe, but his movies did connect in some in one way or another. Um, you know, in that of like other, you know, characters one one movie appearing in another movie. You know, so I mean, obviously, Jay and Silent Bob always coming out in, in in some way or form in all his movies. Yeah, um, and or in other media, like in Scream Three. <coughs> <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, was it three or four? It was three. Oh, but um. I think I'm not gonna lie, dude. I think when uh, when the when a lot of the trailers were dropping out during Comic Con, I think, and I told you, I was more excited to see the Jane Silent and Bob reboot than I was seeing the uh, It Chapter Two. Yeah, I remember. Mean, <laughs> I was like, what? I mean, I said, I love it. I love. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I love Kevin Smith. I love Jane Silent and Bob. Uh, I'm just so excited for It. Oh, and, right. and, and, and it's the other thing I love too is that. Uh, uh, Jason Biggs and uh, James Vanderbeek are back. Are back. <laughs> <laughs> he plays. Yeah. Uh, I play Silent Bill, and then he <laughs> plays uh, Chronica, aka Ray. Ray. Jay. 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 <laughs> Did you not read the script? You got a script. <laughs> yeah. and it's funny because like the Blunt Man, like the Blunt Man Chronic uh, <laughs> that they show in the new reboot resembles Man, uh, um, Batman v Superman. Like the Blunt Man suit looks like the the <laughs> the Batman suit from Batman v Superman like he's all like it just looks hilarious like I kind of wait um to, just to see you know how you know how it's gonna turn out I mean it's gonna be a silly movie but it's gonna I think it's gonna be funny I'm gonna Ooh. be on the edge of my seat laughing my ass off <laughs> <clears throat> of course can't wait can't um, wait but, what else um, we got the uh, new trailer for uh, for Watchmen, the HBO uh, series. Oh, yep. oh my god! Dude. It's real, real interesting. I and okay. Some I, major, I, some I major am, teases in that I trailer. I am pretty much like convinced right now. Maybe like ninety five percent convinced that this is like a sequel to the movie, or it, or to the book. Because I mean, they've already, they in this spoilers here. If you haven't seen the trailer yet, and if you haven't, go watch it right now because it's a freaking awesome ass trailer. But like. Just some of the stuff they mentioned. I mean, Roshad's dead, so, you know, they, that's why I think these... Uh, but who's the guy in the chrome mask, though? Does so, eat beans like Roshad? I mean, who, I mean, again, we, we, like we don't know mm-hmm. we don't know what's going on with that. But, like, uh, one of the things that they did mention is, like, you know, well, where is Dr. Manhattan? He's in Mars right now. Yeah, that, that, he's living that. on Mars. He's living on Mars. And that, that's where he kind of left off. He, got, he left, it left off with them in the movie. Mm-hmm. So, I, I mean... I think it, it could. I, I don't, it might, it might I'm just be a sequel to the. I'm not going to say it's going to be a direct sequel, but I think it's going to kind of be like events after the comics. Or you know, know. the only reason I, I don't think it's a sequel to the movie is because uh, what's his name? Uh, Captain Justice, uh, the uh, Hooded Justice. Hooded Justice makes yeah. an appearance in the trailer, and in the movie he dies. Like they show yeah, but but <clears throat> but he makes an appearance in the trailer but it's the, the the guy with the silver mask just watching him on TV so it could be like something old something like some old footage or something that he's watching that's true yeah, yeah. I'm, okay, I remember that now it looks like it's like a like they're like promoting like a TV show or something yeah like yeah they yeah. can even show like a ad on top of the cab mm-hmm. yeah okay I, um, Matt what you think of the trailer I know you watched it and like you, you know you, you, you couldn't stop talking about it that day uh, you know what you think about it oh, I loved it um, it's real interesting I always was wondering how they're gonna adapt this watch I mean, Watchmen into a series, 
And then I, when I read more about it, it's like, oh, it's going to take place in the future after the events of the first Watchmen. Watchmen. Uh, of course, the most likely talking about the comic book and not the movie. Um, then a whole little tease at the end with uh, Doctor Manhattan picking yeah. up his own mask. Yeah, That's like, interesting. And I see like the, they're praising Doctor Manhattan more. I um, I was watching a trailer with somebody and they <clears> mentioned to me they're like, and like I said, they're, maybe they're just like you know just kind of you know they don't really know what's going on but they're like they're like when he reaches down and picks up that mask you know obviously his hand is blue and they're like that looks like a glove like I'm just like no no it's not a it's not a glove it's Dr. Manhattan <laughs> <laughs> don't ruin this for me who else will be dressed in a suit picking up his own mask and he, w- and he was dressed in a like a tux or uh, some type of suit when he was doing that interview in the movie mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. before he like Vanished into Mars. He could be the main antagonist of the movie. I love that part. I mean, of the movie. He's all show. like, "Leave me alone!" And just <clears throat> disappears. Oh, so good. I'm gonna go home and watch Watchmen now because oh, that's such a good movie. Mm. It's long as I mean, hell. I but mean, it's good. We, 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 we obviously cut. know that the character that uh, Jeremy Irons is playing in, of the old version. You know, yeah. <clears throat> and dude, I was so excited to see <clears throat> the uh, the Night Owl. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, should, yeah. Playing come out. Uh, I was like, oh dude, that's what was the name? Archie, yeah, yeah Archie, Archie. Yeah. Archie. Mm-hmm. I also oh, love yeah. that the uh, that the um, I guess these I don't even want to call them these these people that are like that dress like as Warshak, they say his famous famous line, you know, like the world will, will scream save us and we'll whisper no. And I was like, oh, that's oh, so cool, yeah. like, that's so badass. I, I wish I wonder if they're gonna bring bring back in some way or form um, the comedian. That would, I mean, uh, when in that one part with that <laughs> that girl. Um, I don't know what character she's playing yet, um, but she was making breakfast for her family, and she did the eggs. And oh, in, like in, 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 a, in, in a form uh, of a, a smiley, smiley face. face. So I was just like, oh, man. I mean, he has to. He, he is one of, the, one of the, you know, he's <clears throat> one of the main characters. In like, the I wonder if, someone, like, if someone's going to come and bring it back, like, bring back that character. Because obviously it's not, not going to be the original one. Backs. I don't know, dude, because I love Jeffrey Dean Morgan as a comedian. Oh, my Dude, God. yeah. I mean, he, he brought that, that character, like, to life, like, I just uh, in a badass way, and um, I mean, dude, I don't know what there, 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 there was a lot of differences from because I read the, the the graphic novel, and dude, that graphic novel was pretty, it's pretty and big. At the end of every this, every uh, and uh, book, just like a more backstory, yeah, stuff oh like that. God. That's like and, another uh, two or three pages long. And, and I mean, and of course, you know, um, there there was a lot of differences because like in the comic book, it was this big old robot robot. That was doing all the destruction, as opposed to um, that was a giant octopus. Yeah, yeah. as I said, that was a giant octopus. Yeah, just like octopus robot thing, whatever. Oh my god! <laughs> but uh, I mean, I'm glad they, I'm glad they changed that part. I thought that was, <laughs> that was funny because I, I like I never knew how the comic book ended, but and I looked up the. If you ever read, if you ever read, if you read, watch them in the comic book and watch the movie, it's almost like. Like identical, identical, except for the ending. <laughs> except for the ending, because Oct- octopus. And on of course, uh, on, uh, on the, the ending of the movie was stuff. more grounded and i guess yeah and then in in the graphic novel they even do the um that that story where the little uh, where the kids on the sidewalk reading the comic mm-hmm. and it's the uh oh, what was it the tale the, the, the tale the, the, the black freighter yeah um so and okay so you see a little, but in, little hint in, in, in the yeah in the, in the movie and then i think in the director's cut they actually show but it, it's it, it's like cartoon version yeah so it's, it's so uh, real quick uh just a question about the graphic novel uh because i haven't read it and I, I mean, I love the I movie, and I have it. to read it. So, in the cool. movie, the reason that, well, no, okay, never mind, scratch that. I'm, I'm totally lost. I was gonna ask like the reason, <laughs> the reason Doctor Manhattan goes to Mars is because he destroyed Earth, but no, it's when he comes back from Mars when he destroys Earth, right? Like, well, he kind of just realized what he's been no, doing. No, it's um, I can never say his name right. You guys pronounce it better. Um, he yeah. He's the he's the mastermind behind everything. He like, and, oh, uh, he frames them. And, um, yeah, he frames Doctor Manhattan. He, yeah, he um, somehow uh, replicates his uh, his powers. Oh, okay, so the explosion is made to look like it was Doctor like Manhattan. Doctor Manhattan. So it happened in the movie, yeah. So oh, okay, I remember because he's <coughs> standing, he goes, he goes, because in, mo- like, goes, in the movie, um, it wasn't the, the, the Doctor Manhattan was getting blamed for uh, his ex fiance being can- getting cancer, his best friend getting cancer, that anyone that was around him got cancer, but it wasn't. It was um, uh, Ozzy uh, Ozzy, um, that just say Ozzy. Ozzy. <laughs> it, it was Ozzy that uh, um, that was that 
that got them sick that he yeah. did he he uh kind of like poisoned them or some somewhere yeah. they, they yeah, i just want to go and watch watch me now oh my god <laughs> um but we are going to take a quick break well hold on before we go real quick so one thing i want to say because again I, I, I love the watch man <laughs> i love i love the the comic books i love the movie um um what was i gonna say about the movie? you know some train of thought here um shoot i forgot comedian Manhattan, uh, Cancer. Cancer. Uh, yeah. Warshak. Um, Night Owl. Uh, <sighs> Whatever. Horace. It, it, it's gone. It's coming gone. <laughs> <laughs> Came and go. But, okay, while Steven uh, tries to reflect on that thought, we're going to take, take a quick break, and we'll be right back with more stuff. So... Just totally kicking out on Watchmen. Uh, conversation went on <laughs> a little bit longer uh, than what we anticipated. On I mean, that, yeah. There's well, a lot we, more stuff. We love Watchmen. We could talk about it for a full hour if we wanted to, but we're it's not going to because we have more stuff to talk about. I was going to say Watchmen's pile oh, and Believe me, we are definitely going to have a full con- uh, uh, um, conversation when the first Series episode, episode comes out. Comes out. <laughs> and, so, I'm, and I'm definitely going to watch it again. Yeah, just, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I, I, I got to read the novel and I got to... Um, Watch rewatch the movie because because I want to, and I'm gonna watch the show, and we'll talk about it then. Um, so we were just um, you can read the novel on the DC Universe app, I think. You can. Oh, cool. I think it's on there, like the, the whole ten books. So I just finished um, the Hoppy Clouds Fuzzy IPA with Peaches from Texas Beer Co. Delicious beer, and if you can find it, I suggest you get it before it is gone because trust me, like it's I almost said, gone. It could probably be gone by next week. Yeah. So I'd we saw uh, what was left, and yeah. There was nothing left. I believe the Hoppy Monk has it. I and think there was uh, only like, what, three layers of, yeah, like, like of two and a half cas- of cases left? Yeah, like, like maybe like four. Maybe like uh, 14. <clears throat> four, four, not, like four, not, even, not even half a pallet. Or like, like four cakes, too, like half cakes, you know? I thought there were like more cakes. No? Oh, I thought I saw like eight or nine. I don't know. I was drunk. Me too. Um, so, yeah, uh, the Fuzzy Clouds, Hoppy Clouds Fuzzy IPA, excuse me, uh, from Texas Beer Co., uh, we are also, f- on, and because we only found a four-pack of that beer, you know, we decided to feature another IPA on the show uh, from our friends at Fourth Tap in Austin, Texas. Um, shout out to John. And, um, and shout out to whoever designs these cans because they're really fantastic. Yeah. Uh, I just had another Fourth Tap uh, IPA, the Guava Paradise Lost. How is that? It was tasted like guava. guava like, did it taste guava? like that? Uh, it did it taste guava. like uh, guava? Like the uh, what was the one we had? That one, that one guava beer we had? No, not at stronger? all. Stronger? It tastes a lot better. Better? <laughs> oh my god! Not gonna mention no names, um, but yeah, I've been wanting to try that. Oh, so HP. yeah, but right now we're drinking. Uh, well, I'm drinking the Kung Fu Robot IPA from Fort Tap. I'm gonna pour it in my glass. About to get there. Courtesy <coughs> of uh, Derek Jenkins from Etsy. Thank you for the glass, brother. And uh, if you want to order some custom glasses for yourself. His link will be in the description down below, so check it out. And you know, because we, we I bought some, I bought some yeah. uh, custom glasses from him, and he surprised us with some gifts. I'm still enjoying the fu- the, fu- the hoppy clouds. The the, 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 the I think the I think that I think that clouds are already hitting him. Right. His head's up yeah. in the clouds he's, right now. He's got a fuzzy mind. Um, so <laughs> like I said, we were just <laughs> talking about some you know uh, trailers that have been released at Comic Con, and we just finished talking about the Watchmen trailer. Uh, real quick, I know um, I don't want to get too much into it because, for one, you know we don't have that much time, and two, um, uh, I mean, I never seen the original, so I don't have much to say about it. But it is, I mean, I know people out there do like it. Um, Top Gun Maverick, right? It's called Maverick, I believe so. Yes, Maverick. Uh, it's a sequel to Top Gun. <coughs> oh, is that what this? Is that what it is? The sequel to Top Gun. Yeah. Top Gun Maverick is Top a sequel Gun, to Top, Top Gun. Gun Maverick is a sequel. <laughs> Hold on, let me check my source. I thought it was the first. Yeah, uh, yeah, movie. yeah. Okay. The source yeah. says it's, it's been confirmed. Sequel. It's been confirmed. Jacks? Yeah, Jack said yeah. Um, <laughs> asshole. <laughs> but uh, no, but I know uh, our dad personally is a big fan of that movie. You know, so much so that he bought Aviator. Shout out to Dad and your Aviator. He still cuts his haircut like like that. <laughs> yeah. Um, shout out to Tom Cruise for being such a badass. Because uh, in the trailer, he's flying a jet, and apparently, he actually is flying the damn jet. 
which is pretty cool. He actually went to flight academy or yeah, some and shit like that. Yeah, putting in his hours, all that stuff. Jesus Christ, that dude's crazy. Yeah, dude. I mean, dude, that's the only reason why I want. I, want, I still haven't that's even seen it. That's why he's one of but, the best actors but, in the world. <laughs> why, one of the reasons why I still want to see the uh, he's dedicated the, the last uh, Mission Impossible because of, of a lot of stuff that he did in there. I still got to catch a Mission Impossible. He was actually right. broke his good. foot, his yeah, ankle. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, and then he actually jumped out that plane. Yeah, <clears throat> and I think I think uh, he he. Uh, he act, there was another thing that he did in the in the movie where he actually held the camera himself because the camera crew didn't want to <laughs> go in in the stunt with He's him. He's out here. I'll like do that. it. I'll Action. do it myself. I got this. Roll it. I'm Tom Cruise. He's like uh, he's he's like Chris Evans in uh, Scott Pilgrim and action. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, Top Gun Maverick. Uh, he hasn't seen the trailer. Here's that Mario. Do ding. <laughs> so, Marijuana uh, affects the brain. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> IPA. Dude, man, y- y- y'all broke me. I, n- I was never an IPA guy, and now that's kind of every show is almost we we feature an IPA. Uh, when mm-hmm. yeah, when we were at Texas Beer Co, we actually drank a stout on you know Oof. you know on the show. It was the first time we had a stout on the show, and we, honestly, that's what got me. Dude, yeah, you, yeah, we, yeah. That, that's what got me. And then the uh, October uh, Taylor Fest, uh, Taylor Fest uh, their, their version of Oktoberfest, mm-hmm. uh, that one got me too. And that, 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 that one that, was good. And it was so good. And, and, and uh, he was even surprised too because it was already like a, a, year, a year old. Yeah, year old. Old. He's, he's like, like oh, this is still drinkable. He's all, oh, you just have to keep it cold for long enough. <laughs> It'll be fine. Yeah. I'm already seeing Oktoberfest beers. Really? Yeah. yeah. From yeah. where? Who? The grocery store that I work at, um, I think it's really old, Oktoberfest. Um, I think who else did I see? Uh, I want to say Southern Star. I saw that they they were already announcing they were going to put theirs out, and someone else. So far, my favorite October Fest has been Free Tales. <clears throat> October Fiesta. Yeah, that one is good. But maybe. Texas Beer Co is going to release another one-off of um, a stout, I believe. Oh yeah, peanut butter peanut chocolate, butter, stout. chocolate stout. Oh yeah, yeah. That yeah. they get from so, like the chocolate they get from a local. Man, I wish you would. I wish we would have been able to get some of that, but it was still uh, fermenting or, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah they so, still had it. He's uh, like, we're doing a taste test and then, later. You know, one, one right. of my one of my favorite Oktoberfests is uh, from uh, Alamo Beer Co. There's this, there's this really good. Yeah, the, fir- the first one, the first Oktoberfest I ever had or ever tried was Shiner. Shiner, oh yeah. And uh, that's that's uh, and actually Shiner was was the one that actually kind of uh, broke me into. Exploring a little bit more. Shiner was pretty much like one of my first craft beers. I think, yeah, I mean, that I ever had. I know Matthews was an IPA, and then Shiner, honestly, Shiner <coughs> Black, and I jumped into like, and then the first, as the first time I ever had like a dark beer at Shiner Black. So it's like, <laughs> you know, yeah. and, and honestly, Shiner Black is not bad. It's good. It's like, really good. So it is tasty. But we have more Comic Con news to uh, tackle. And uh, if we if we can, I kind of want to stay in, in the uh, realm of uh, DC a little bit uh, since we were talking about watching because I know D- DC made a what you couple got? announcements. Yep. Um, they they are going to renew uh, my, one of my favorite shows, uh, Young Justice, for a fourth season. Mm-hmm. Um, just just got caught up with that one because they just they just brought it back from their uh, little mid season break. And, and uh, what, what they're else? also going to renew Doom Patrol, which Doom is Patrol. one of my favorite shows. And Doom, the thing is, with Doom Patrol, is going to be on both the DC Universe and app the Warner Brothers and the, uh, and the HBO Max. HBO Max. So. HBO Max. Which, cool. That's awesome that they're not going to 100% cancel the DC Universe because you know, having that are your access to the comic books, TV shows. I honestly, all the classic movies. I honestly think that's the only reason they're going to keep the DC Universe app is for the comics. Yeah. All the all like the uh, like TV shows and <coughs> movies are going to go to HBO Max. But better not. That's, um, that's just you know. I'm a little excited. Uh, I, I I didn't I didn't really get into the show very much when it first came out. It took me a couple a couple of times to uh, re- to rewatch it. Oh, uh, the Titans. Oh. And okay. I'm a little excited with that one because uh, they're actually bringing in uh, Superboy. Superboy, Aqualad. Yeah. And uh, um, Deathstroke too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Deathstroke's family also. So we're, so. we're gonna see the the. Who thinks can play Deathstroke? The, the Joe, Wilson, the Joe Manganiello, Slade, Wade, Slade Wilson, Slade Wilson. So yeah, the Slade Wilson family. Wilson. I was like Wade Wilson. Dude, people no. trip out <laughs> so much when I tell them that. Yeah, Deadpool is a knockoff from uh, and Deathstroke and uh, Slade Wilson, Wade Wilson. Yeah, and, De- and, Bra- and, and, and De- Rob Layfield to like yeah, I just copied Deadpool, it. Yeah. Deadpool made made his uh, debut in like. The late mid nineties. Yeah, uh, I remember having. I remember having the uh, the first comic book, and I got suckered into trading it. Jerks. I actually have it. So. 
<laughs> uh, I, just, I traded like 10 you. bucks. I was in disguise. Yeah, well, when I first got it, it was like a dollar something. Oh. <laughs> Damn. I wish I would have kept Damn. it. <laughs> hey, hey, he's all, Back then, comics cost a nickel. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, For your information, it, sir, it was first, 10 cents. Yeah. It's his first appearance in X-Force. X-Force, two. yeah. But uh, his, his actual first, uh, his first comic book by himself, like his standalone was... Uh, was pretty cool. I, uh, I want to say it was like a like a black uh, cover kind of thing, um, or it could have been like a like a special edition one. But anyway, so so yeah, yeah we're so, we're so, derailing here. <laughs> I mean, comics. So, we love comics. But so uh, yeah, so back to uh, Comic Con. Um, yeah, so Slade Wilson is going to be making an appearance in Titans. Uh, so that's why I'm a little bit more excited with with this one. Uh, it, it's actually going to be it's actually going to explore a little bit more um, um, from like what Young Justice is too but in live action mm-hmm. uh, some of the I'm kind of excited with that I'm hoping they're going to bring some some other cool characters out other um, than that we didn't really get much DC announcements from Comic Con obviously because well, Warner yeah, Bros wasn't there yeah Warner Bros well I mean they were there but they weren't there for DC uh, DC was kind of held back from from movie stuff and other stuff I'd say the only thing the Warner Brothers showed was it Oh, yeah, that's right. It, yeah. it, it is Warner Brothers, yeah. Yeah, yeah. true that. Because yeah. it's legendary. Legendary. It's, it's Warner Brothers, yeah. It's just, no, it's disappointing they didn't, like, have a full presence there, though. No. But honestly, like, like and, and, and I remember I asked, I asked you because, you know, and we'll get into it later, but the whole, uh, you know, um, Disney and MCU came out swinging with this year, you know, it's Comic-Con. And I said, we'll get into it. But I yeah, asked there's you. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot with that. I asked so. you. I was like, you <laughs> know, I was like, wait, as much as. I was overwhelmed. As, as much as Marvel announced, like, <clears> they really announced a lot. Do you, you know? Do you see DC coming and coming out of the left field, like you know, in maybe two weeks or a week or whatever, or maybe three weeks? Like, oh, here's our Slater. Here's what we got in store for you guys. Like, which, uh, like I said, in some aspect, I'm like, I'm kind of hoping to do because I want some DC announcements. But at the same time, I'm like, don't announce something that you're not gonna do because they've done that so many times. Uh, what happened to the Flash? What happened to the Cyborg movie? What happened to the to the Green Green Lantern Corps movie? Where we're supposedly we're gonna get, like. Yeah, there was, they're making a big deal about that. That Tyrese Gibson was going to be the the Green Lantern oh, and God, all that. Yes. And then this stuff and the Flash lost, you know, two directors, like, gaining, like three directors, another, yeah, another I'm, one. I'm even saying more that, writers. I'm, 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 like I'm, I'm thinking like on their fourth at, director at, now. At one and, point, Ezra Miller was going to write a script, and they're just like, and they yeah. just scrapped it right away. Like, but apparently he's still, apparently he's still going to be be the Flash. Yeah, so. he's still yeah. attached to be the Flash, which I mean that's surprising. Uh, Cyborg, probably out the window. Which just sucks because I hate Justice League. I hate it so much, but I honestly didn't mind Cyborg in the movie. It, yeah, I kind of you know like the way he looked was a little weird. He looked like a like a like a bunched up tin foil, like but <laughs> I mean aluminum foil just crunched up yeah, together. <laughs> but I mean, I honestly, I honestly liked you know liked his character in that movie. Um, the movie sucks ass, but <clears throat> that's besides the point. So. I don't know. Uh, so my my thing with with Justice League on Cyborg is there, there's two different versions of Cyborg. Uh, there's the the full robotic version of him, and then and then and then there's a Doom Patrol version of there's him. There's the half. Uh, well, because yeah. I was gonna say too. There's the uh, half robotic version of him, and uh, just the, the one we see in Doom Patrol. And they they also show him like that in uh, Justice League, uh, Young Justice, the uh, the cartoon series. Oh, yeah. So, I, have to remember that. I hated <coughs> Cyborg in uh, Doom Patrol. He just so annoying. He was the most annoying character. He, he was, was always annoying. complaining. Yeah, like shut up, Birdie. Like Dad, stop. Where's Ray Fisher? Yeah, bring back Ray Fisher. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he uh, he was a little. That, honestly, that's the reason why I stopped little, watching. Little I'm like, baby. He he kind of reminded me of Iron Fist. Because it's like the other ones are just like, uh, no, we don't want to go in there. He's like, we gotta, we're superheroes. Let's do this. It's like, dude, shut the fuck up. Like, no. Am I in a donkey right now? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that show is so weird. So, but I mean, I, I, I had to take Matthew's word for it because Matthew did say that it after the fourth episode it gets real good. Um, I know the last episode I saw, Elastic Girl finally kind of got hold of how to use her her powers and stuff like that. So, mm-hmm. um, I'm real interested. Yeah, uh, okay, just gotta just gotta just power through it and just watch it. Jane, right? Jane, Jane, the the one that has, that's a uh, crazy Jane. Yeah, crazy, crazy Jane. Jane. I, I liked her from the very beginning. She's yeah, she, awesome. She, she was real good. But hands down, I think the star of the show is uh, Brendan Fraser. Yeah, yeah. Dude. I know Jane and Brendan Fraser are the stars. But uh, I like a uh, negative man. He also had a nice story arc. Um, Did he? Yeah. Uh, what uh? Because uh, his character was so wacky. I mean, it was so yeah. meta, like the way he narrated stuff, and it was cool. 
But man, he was just so out there and like. No, and I'm not talking about. That's uh, that's Mr. Nobody. Oh, okay, okay, wait. Part about the, the negative man. The one that's wrapped in bandages as the sunglasses. Oh, yeah. Matt Bomber. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. <coughs> okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah, no. He's cool too. But yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he's cool. He's alright. Mr. Nobody is, you know. Weird, weird. He's okay, so the narrator, the whole so series. negative man has a pretty good arc. That's good yeah. to hear because honestly, he he honestly like he is a good character in that show. Uh, I like him. I like him better than Cyborg. And uh, honestly, like the the main four, I really like them. Like I like that. I love I love Crazy Jane. You know, I love uh, Brendan Fraser. I love Lassa Girl. Like you know, it's just, they're just they're just like just lost superheroes. And then like I I, I like that. The sh- just the, the story around them, like the whole storyline, just kind of got real wacky. This is one episode, points. like the second to the last. They uh, introduce a character named Flex Montello. Sorry okay. about that, but spoilers. He's been mentioned <laughs> like kind of throughout the series. Um, it's the funniest thing you ever see on <laughs> ever. I'm gonna watch. It. I'll, I'll watch it again, but I'll probably start from the beginning so I can refresh myself yeah. where where what's going on. Well, like I said, it gets wacky. You see a lot of wacky stuff after season after episode three. So well, I'm 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 glad that they actually got renewed for a second season. That was mm-hmm. one of the yeah. And and it, we we didn't get that for a while. You know the series the season has been ended, um, for like two months, three months already. Mm-hmm. Um, Cora Swamp Thing got axed right after his first episode, right which is disappointing. Um, Have you seen it? I, not really, because there's <laughs> really no point for me to see it. Kind of like Jessica Jones season two. Season three. Season three. I mean, it's canceled. I mean, I never seen. <laughs> I never saw canceled. season two in the first place. I yeah. tried to watch it. I was like, this is boring. I can't. Yeah, season oh. season two. Jessica Jones wasn't as good as the first season. I'm telling you, man. The first season was good, and I really think it's due to uh, David Tennant playing. Um, yeah. Uh, Kilgrave. I mean, he dude. He was so manipulative in that that season. He was so cool. Every time I think of Just, David, every time I think of David Tennant, I think of Harry Potter. He's all. Yes. <laughs> Anyways, you saw the Dark Lord. What do he look like? <laughs> <laughs> back to DC. Anyways, well, back to DC and back to Comic Con. So, um, I mean, that's all I have to say about DC. Uh, again, we, we didn't get really much from them because they weren't there, other than for the DC Universe app. Mm-hmm. But yeah. uh, as far as like movies and uh, like that, we didn't get anything. Like comics. I think they announced a few comic book storylines. Um, so, Stuff like that. so what else? So, do we, what else do we get out of Comic Con? I'm trying to think right now. Honestly, <laughs> before we, before we hit the like, juggernaut, them. Yeah, that, that the, is Marvel the, the Studios huge and Disney. Juggernaut. Um, oh, we we got an announcement that we're gonna get a, uh, and I'm kind of excited for this, and I'm gonna go purchase it when it comes out. Uh, com- a uh, Kylo Ren comic book series. That's exactly what I was thinking about right now. Kylo Ren. Yeah. That's, uh, that's gonna be pretty good. Cool. It's gonna be the Knights of Rand. Yeah, I mean, I'm so awesome. excited for that. That's gonna be freaking awesome. Uh, yeah, that's, I, was, I, was, I know there's a comic book uh, for Star Wars announced. I'm like, what was it? Yeah, you know, <laughs> like Kylo Ren and, and his his uh, his uh, journey to the Knights of Ren, and yeah, honestly, like I kind mean, of like his backstory of you know, yeah. how he became Kylo Ren and how he became he came to uh, be the leader of the Knights of Ren. So uh, that's gonna be pretty cool. I forgot how many series. I mean. Uh, it's, yeah, it's a limited series. Yeah, right? I think it's going to be like a five or six uh, series uh, story story arc or something like that. So it's going to be pretty cool. Um, um, super excited for that one. Well, in the comic book realm, Marvel did just announce that a whole slate of X-Men comic books, pretty much a whole yeah, reboot reboot of the X-Men. And that's from Marvel now. Yeah. Like, yeah, from the actual Marvel. Like, like being, the comic books. Yeah, Marvel Entertainment. Marvel uh, Comics, not the MCU. Marvel Comics, yeah. Uh, House of X. Um um, I'm, I'm, I know, and th- this is not from Comic Con itself, but I know that um, um, Robert Kirkman um, just announced or announced a while back that he oh. he finished The Walking Dead. The, the yeah, comic book series. The issue was that's another last thing issue. we got. We got the mm. teaser. Oh yeah, yeah. Of yeah, the yeah. Uh, Walking Dead movie where the, it says Rick Grimes will Rick return, Grimes. and it not only is going to be on AMC, but it's going to be in theaters. No, yeah. it's only in theaters. Yeah, only in theaters. Only, yeah, oh, it's, oh, it's so only in I know so before, it's a, a before it release. was an AMC original movie. Now it's going to be released in theaters. A Walking Dead movie in theaters. The Rick uh, featuring Rick Grimes. Uh, featuring Rick uh, Grimes uh, after and, and Andrew Lincoln after his going to be unquote, distributed by uh, Universal. So yeah, so I mean, it, it wasn't much, but it was just a teaser. It was like, hey, yeah. this, this is coming to theaters. Did y'all watch the trailer for Walking Dead? 
Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. I, uh, I didn't watch it only because I'm I'm not caught up on it. So I mean, how was dude, it? I'm telling you. Okay, I so it it, 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 it kind of but this last season the last <laughs> season was really good with the whispers. So I, many deaths. I already know oh, what happened. So many heart the last, such the, such heartbroken. The last season, um, last episode of the season. I, I was I was I was a little disappointed. Kind of. <laughs> um, Sorry. So um, the other thing that that during really? the, during the whole thing too, from last season to this season, was that um, uh, what's her name? Uh, she plays Michonne. Mm-hmm. Um, it's gonna be her last season. Uh, well, uh, see, I thought last season was gonna be her last season. They were like, "Oh yeah, after season nine, she's not gonna come back." But then they show her in season ten. Ooh, dude, in season ten. So, um, if you haven't watched the show, or if you have watched the show, and th- this is from past episodes, you know that the king uh, from the kingdom was all uh, obsessed and in love with um, uh, Carol. Carol. And so they had a relationship, but in this last season they kind of broke off, and now it's uh, the king and Michonne. What? <laughs> and they showed that in the trailer. Like they, they showed sh- kind of like like getting close to getting. And in the trailer, oh and it's my like God, Rick Grimes is turning in his non grave right now. <laughs> and in the trailer, it's like we're getting everything fans wanted. Just for the record, I'm not touching myself with Jax's right uh, now. So. Carol and um, Daryl. D D D and D. They like at the end of the like they had like a whole minute at the end of the episode, minute the trailer of them just talking, stuff like that. Now Jax wants me to pet him. <laughs> <laughs> he just he craves for attention. Right yeah, now. he's a he's a dachshund. Dachshunds just love attention. Yeah, he's a little dog does. Anyway, so dude, I don't know. Uh, I'm really excited for this season, season ten. I can't believe they've they've gone this far. To be honest with you. Uh, ten seasons. I can't believe. Well, they have a whole lot of story to cover. And uh, yeah, but they they've kind of even gone off story a little bit Didn't too. Did the, uh, the because graphic novel come like this? The uh, actual comic coming to an end already? Yeah, that's what I was just yeah, saying. Just saying right oh, now. Okay, okay, I just said right now because that's why listening. why we brought it up. <laughs> I, uh, I said it was it wasn't announced in Comic Con, but that Robert Kirkman did announce uh-huh. a while back that. Uh, and he, I didn't know he, that he finished the 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 comic book series, so, he, so he's done with it. Because I heard that like, well, oh, again, spoiler. Oh. Rick does die in the comic book. Well, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> like it happened like like a few issues ago, like I think three issues ago. I think. I think that was something that was already kind of announced, and because I kind of vaguely remember something. Yeah, like that. but I mean, anyway. So I'm I'm, I'm excited. Um, I know uh, people kind of talk shit about this show too, but uh, this, this last season was really good. They just went on mid season um, break right now too. But Fear the Walking Dead, that was getting really good. And uh, they, I, 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 I kind of, at first I was real weird about how they do the time jumps in both episodes, but I, I, I really like, kind of like it now, and um, it's, it's really cool. And Fear the Walking Dead, I mean, it, it has nothing to do with the comic books; it's its own thing, but it's just you know, uh, a spinoff from The Walking Dead. So um, this last season was really good; it was really cool. Uh, the things that they had to do and. <clears throat> When it, and one of the things that, that they kind of meant, they kind of uh, focus on that, not I mean, when it comes to the end of the world, you don't really think about certain things, but like um, having to dodge a uh, nuclear reactor that's just been like not being uh, monetized. You know what I mean? Like, what? like a nuclear reactor, dude. Like you know, you don't think like is that what happened? So it, it's, it's kind of like one of the premises in the, in the story for Fear of the Walking Dead, and then. Uh, there's just like some other you know stuff that's going on and things like that and it, it, it's it's getting pretty good i think it's gonna get a lot better but um you know i'm, I'm just i'm just su- super excited for this movie that's gonna come out for the walking dead and season the 10. season 10 and introduce the whisperer war which is probably one of the most bloodiest war bloodiest battles yeah in i wonder the how books. they're gonna do that because they they had to like they had to like calm stuff down after the whole uh um uh, bat thing with uh with uh, not what I with, saw, with, I mean, with, with Abraham and and Glenn, but you know, but you mean, I mean, remember after that episode, there was parents complaining and stuff like that, and what's that, that uh, that organization that that kind of like monitorizes uh, like how violent things should be, whatever, and they, they the but anyway, so <laughs> that that's why that's why you never got to see um, Negan use his bat again. I was like, really? 
Because in the comic books, he fucking uses that shit a lot. So, yeah. so people were so upset about him and like bashing in Glenn's head and uh, how violent it was that, you know, that... that I mean, hello. It's them it, pushing it, boundaries on what they can do on honestly, TV. Honestly, like, yeah, because I, like, I mean, when I saw the episode. And plus, that, that's why it comes out late at night, too, like, you know. When I saw the episode, like, it took me a couple of days to, like, actually kind of, like, <laughs> like, just kind of, like, shake it off. Because it, it's weird to say that over a TV show. But, like, it really, like, it was just, it was shocking. I was in shock for, like, a whole day. I was like, what the hell did I just watch? <laughs> and it was disturbing. I was like, but at the same time, I'm like, this is great. Like, this is so and good. being a person who loves practical gore, practical effects. And you know what? I looked up the video of that so ten times, and, like, I just love it. And, yeah. And, and, and I know I know you and my wife got mad at me one time when I started watching it, and you know, turn it off, if, it's so gross. It's like, but not, and, and not 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 gross because of, of the, the eye just of, popping of, out of the uh, of what's going on, but because of the fact that, that the characters that that were that were killed in 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 that situation. But like you know, like one thing that kind of like and it's weird. Like I said, it's just so weird to talk about a show like this. The one thing that kind of like helped, like I don't know, like like got me through. Got me, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like got me through it, and it's just so weird saying it because was watching like people's reactions like i go online i like watching reactions to like trailers and like so people will post you know their reactions to watching this scene and a lot of them were just like like they're just in shock i'm like i'm like right like, right <laughs> you know? right i'm not the only one man <laughs> like yeah exactly like it's oh like you know and it, it's not like, as shocking as game of thrones but you game know and honestly like like that was one of the things that it was compared to the the negan uh you know uh Bat bashing was was compared to the to the Red Wedding, and that's the first time I ever <laughs> I ever watched uh you know like the Red Wedding from uh from Game of Thrones. I'm like I'm like why is everybody comparing this to the Red Wedding? What is the Red Wedding? So I looked it up. I'm like, oh oh, what? first thing you see is the pregnant oh. wife get stabbed <laughs> oh, multiple times. And not only that, like 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 didn't like a son get killed from his mom, or, or who was the 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 the, the groom? Or like the guy who got killed, like in that in that red wedding. Oh yeah, it was Rob uh, Stark. Rob Stark, um, the the oldest son. Got killed mm-hmm. in front of his mom. Got killed in front of his mom. Yeah. Oh, no, oh my god. And then I don't know if you <clears throat> noticed Dude. this in the in the episode after that, um, they cut his head off and they cut his direwood's head off and they posted yeah. it on like his body and like. Uh, the, yeah, I the remember king that. The, the 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 king of the north is dead. I gotta watch Game of Thrones. <laughs> oh my god. Um. So just, just don't watch the last season. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can just watch season eight and season <laughs> seven, and you'll be fine. And just leave it to the imagination. Yeah, just think of your own fanfare. <laughs> um, we're gonna, uh, uh, real quick before we take a quick break. Uh, I want to give a couple of shout outs. Um, this is an awesome podcast you guys should go listen to. It's called uh, Drinking Alone with Friends. Uh, follow them on uh, Instagram and uh, go check out their podcast. They're amazing dudes. They support us and we want to support them. So go check them yeah. out. If you love beer, um, they um, you know that's what they do. They tackle beer and they're a cool, cool group of guys. So go check it out. Also, uh, shout out to Nerd Chronic. Um, he uh, he edits a bunch of videos that that you know that I like to watch from um, like Collider or like the Schmodown, Real Rejects. Uh, he's an awesome guy. Follow him on Instagram. He cuts awesome promos. So shout out to Nerd Chronic and shout out to Drink and with friends. Go follow those two, and like I said, check out their podcast because they're pretty awesome. Um, so we're gonna take a quick break. Once we come back, we're gonna get into this Marvel stuff because boy, oh boy, is there a lot to talk about. So uh, come back and we'll talk about this. <laughs> some uh, incredible beers from our friends at Texas Beer Co. We were, we're drinking the Hoppy Clouds Fuzzy IPA. Well, Matthew is. Me and, and, uh, me and Eddie have already started on our, uh, from Ford Tap, uh, Kung Fu Kung Fu Robot, Robot IPA. Pretty good. They, awesome uh, they actually did release a few um, different versions of this. Versions of this, not <laughs> virgins. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was going to say, virgins or versions? <laughs> no, they did uh, release two uh, two different versions of it uh, that they brew it with different types of hops. I hear they put a little bit more hops. Yeah, to put it. a little bit of hops to it. Um, they're, they're double hop, they're double Been dry hops. this stuff for years. <laughs> <laughs> uh, those, uh, the level, the... 
alcohol level. Version one, version two are you know both double dry hops with different hops. They know one's like Citra and something else. I'm gonna tell you right now that that so I really love this one. Um, so again, you, you guys know me. I'm not a big IPA guy, but this one from Texas Beer Co. The uh, Hoppy Cloud is really good. That it's got the peach, and then the one that we had that one time from um, Fort Tap, the, uh, the Brood of All Evil. The Brood of All Evil, dude. That one was With good OJ. too. So like, so far those those two are probably like my two favorite IPA beers, um, dude. I mean, dude, guys, if you have not tried these beers, and they're similar colors. In a go way. Yeah, try them yeah. again, especially if you can find the Hoppy Cloud from Texas Beer Co. Because once they're gone, they are gone. They are done, mm-hmm. and they're gonna uh, release something else in its place. Um, okay, so <clears throat> we were uh, you know discussing all things Comic Con. And we thought we few things you know, Comic Con, not all you know. Things. Well, yeah, yeah, few things. I can, there's lots to cover, but um, so again, I just want to get this straight. So, Top Gun Maverick is a sequel to Top Gun, right? Yeah, I'm being told yes. Okay. Cool. <laughs> 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 um, so, God damn it. Um, <laughs> sequel or prequel? Sequel. Sequel. Okay. Sequels. I thought Val Kilmer died in that movie, didn't he die? No, not Val Kilmer. Uh, Goose, uh, Tom Cruise, is, uh, Tom Cruise's friend, in which I think that's why they're bringing the son in, who's going to be played by Miles uh, Teller. Yeah, Miles Teller. So, anyway, good, 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 Anyways. good actor. Good, good actor. Well, I, I, I haven't seen him know? in. Um, I want to see that one with him in uh, Jonah Hill. Oh, uh, um, War Dogs. Oh yeah, yeah, War Dogs. I heard, I heard that one's pretty was, good. Was Todd good. Phillips. The Todd Phillips. Yeah. Joker movie. Uh, it, honestly, it reminds me of uh, <clears throat> Ward of Lore. Oh, with uh, uh, Nicholas Cage yeah. and oh, Jared Leto. I love that movie. Lord yeah, Lord. yeah, I remember that used to be your favorite dude. You're like, you got to watch this movie scene. It's so good. It's and so underrated. It's so good. And you yeah. gave, you, you lent it to me, and I never watched it. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, you, you gave it back to me. It's good. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, 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 yeah it was If great. you see Eddie, you, you'll see the, the, the similarities of it. It's pretty good. Um, <clears throat> so one thing, well, not just one thing. It's no secret that Marvel crushed it at Comic Con this year. I mean, um, Marvel always crushes it in a lot mm-hmm. of things. So, <clears throat> and that—that's why I always argue that you know DC shouldn't even try to uh, don't even try, guys. No, not not necessarily. Hey, not, hey. not necessarily I've been like Joker's good. Not so necessarily try like 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 don't even do it. But like how you feel about Justice League because we Justice League felt like it was too rushed. Don't mimic and just just go at your own pace and start. Start something fresh, you know, with with your with your brand. And um, again, like Eddie said, Marvel came out fucking just blaze of glory. Yeah. Um, of course, everyone's eating it up. And it was funny because they they were announcing it while we're at Fourth Tap, and oh, like, do, yeah, they were doing the, oh, yeah, the comedy. I was like, I yeah. don't want to be rude, but like all this stuff is just being announced. So when we took our trip to uh, to Taylor, we stayed in Round Rock. We took it, you know, we drove up to Austin to visit our friends at Fourth Tap. We were there having a few beers, had some pizza, uh, and they had their uh, their comedy show started. Oh, well, this is you know, and I never sat in, in, in an amateur comedy show. It's, it, you know, so we got another round of beers. They were there. Comics were hilarious. They're pretty good. The um, first one, the first girl was funny, and the last guy was really hilarious. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we were there, and while we were there, like you know, Matthew was getting updates on Twitter and uh, Instagram, and he kept showing me like, oh look, you know, look, look what has been announced. Oh look, 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 look what else has been announced. Oh my God, look at this! And we're just like sitting there and like showing each other. We're just like, Urgh. and it kind of we couldn't like, like express our enthusiasm because we were sitting like directly in front of the comics. So we're like, we don't want to be rude. But oh. they, they, they even they even can't even can't even mention that like don't don't be an ass and yeah. yell out stuff and do this and do that. <laughs> like, so there has been a total of um, ten uh, shows and TV shows announced for Phase Four. And, shows uh, and TV shows, movies and TV shows. <laughs> Thank. <laughs> um, it's, it's that uh, it's that robot that Kung Fu robot's yeah. kicking your ass, man. Um, so okay, so this is this is going this is going on the list. Um, oh, I saw that. Matthew made a mess. <laughs> um, and 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 this is in, in no particular order because they weren't announced in you know in a chronological order. So just kind of announced. Um, first one off the back is the Internals. Uh, we knew we were getting an Internals movie. Uh, it was rumored. 
We knew um, that Kamel Nanjiani and um, Angelina Jolie were rumored to be in the movie. Uh, Richard Madison, um, I can't remember his damn name, uh, but um, Sama Hayek have, have also been cast in the Eternals. Um, which I mean, like I said, I, I I don't know much about the Eternals. Yeah, I'm not too familiar with them either. They're like the creators of the. <coughs> Speaking of which, Rob Stark is going to be in the Eternals. Oh, he is. Yeah. He's uh, he Richard with Richard Madden. Richard Icarus, Richard Madden. right? Yeah. Uh, Angelina Jolie, Kamel uh, Nanjiri, uh, Brian Ty- uh, Tyree Henry. Yeah, yeah. someone. Hi, and then Millie Bobby Brian. Brown was rumored to be in it, but it ended up being a act- uh, young actress. Uh, uh, Leah M- Le- McHugh. Yeah, yes. Leah McHugh. Youngest. And then, super, um, uh, youngest and then if, if you're, and again, if you're a Walking Dead fan, you may recognize her, uh, Lauren Ridloff. Uh, she's, um, she comes out on, on The Walking Dead. Uh, she was one of the new characters uh, introduced in the last season. So oh. she, she was a real fan favorite. And I think she's going to be a real big fan favorite in um, this one as well. Doug, Doug Sigma. Uh, he's an Asian actor. He came out in this movie called The Last Train of Busan. It's a... Uh, oh. You've seen it? I've s- I haven't seen it. Train to Busan. I've yeah, seen, yeah. Uh, Train to Busan. Oh, my God. It is such a good movie. Uh, it's a zombie, a zombie movie, and dude, he he is a standout in that movie. I've seen it on Netflix. If y'all, goes on, if y'all don't like subtitles, go watch it. <laughs> yeah, it's a bunch of subtitles. <laughs> you um, do you know which one we, uh, which show I haven't watched yet? Uh, Black Summer on Netflix. That that new zombie, that new zombie uh, show. I watched like one episode. So. <laughs> but anyways, I, I just because you mentioned zombie. Right, right. Yeah, but honestly, like uh, yeah, uh, Train hey, to check it out. He stands out in that show, and he, you know he's going to be in that, in the Eternals. So uh, while you're doing these announcements, quick, um, let's do. I know you already did Eternals because that's that's been one of the big ones that's already that's already been in talks everywhere. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's do TV shows that that are going to be coming out. Okay, well, the, uh, you know, one of the main TV shows that's been you know that's already been announced and that's you know going to be coming out is. Uh, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Anthony Mackie and Sebastian Stan are reprising their roles as, uh, you know, obviously as uh, Bucky Barnes and as uh, Sam Wilson. Uh, and this is post in game, so, you know, you, we know that. Sam Wilson is going to be um, he's Captain he's America. Be, he's Captain America. And the thing is, and, 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 and the thing is, the thing is and, I, and I don't think, honestly, I don't think that's cement in stone. I know Captain America gave him the shield, but I. And given like the you know because like they came out on stage and they have like a little like back and forth with the shield, I kind of think that's gonna be like the show. I kind of think like in some episodes we might get you know Bucky with the shield. I think in some episodes we might get Falcon with the shield because honestly like dude I think okay well I'm think gonna tell you right now dude one of my favorite favorite fight scenes from the MCU was Captain America Winter Soldier and Iron Man in Captain America Civil War, watching uh, Captain America and uh, Winter Soldier share share the shield oh, yeah. while fighting against Iron, Iron Man. Man. Dude, that... Oh, even even the held trailer. the shield. Like, yeah, and, and, yeah, and then even in Winter Soldier itself, uh, Captain America Winter yeah, Soldier... Yeah, he throws in the shield and he just... Uh, when, when he takes the shield away from, from Captain America and pushes him with it and he's yeah. like holding it. I was like, oh, dude. Like, you know, and true comic fans are yeah. like, oh my God. Uh, and the thing is, they did show some footage. Uh, not footage. They did show like a little teaser of like, you know, I guess the quote unquote the big bad of the series. Well, that, well, even uh, him himself, because uh, I follow him on Instagram, Daniel Brock. Uh, yeah, Daniel. Yeah, Brew Brock. Brew, Brock. Uh, he played uh, Baron Zemo on uh, Captain America: Civil War, <laughs> which fans were were pretty disappointed with it. But I think. They're gonna be real excited with when him reprising the role and because uh, he is wearing the mask, baby. Oh. And of course, it's all fuzzy, but you, you see it. Yeah, <laughs> and, and, then, and, and, and like I said, even uh, him himself on his Instagram feed, he posted it himself too. So that that was pretty cool hmm. uh, seeing that. Like, I mean, I mean, <clears throat> honestly, because like like I, I I love that actor, and then you know, and like when I heard he's playing Baron Demo, I'm like, oh. Yeah, that's cool. But he, yeah, like he, well, if you haven't noticed who he was, of course, one of his most notable roles was in *Inglorious Bastards*. Yeah, I was just saying oh, yeah. *Inglorious Bastards*. Um, he played the, uh, the famous a, Nazi who killed like twenty-two men. Oh yeah. So I mean, he's a really good actor. He's, yeah, he's, 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 real he's, cool. he's really good. Yeah, so I'm saying like like you know, for him just to have a one-off role in *Civil War*, I was like, oh come on, they have to bring him back. So I'm really glad they're bringing well, him back. Well, I mean, for he, this, he uh, kind of made that ah oh, man because I haven't seen *Civil War* in a while, but I know at uh, the end, at the end when they put him back in that that little uh, like that like that. Uh, cell, or whatever. That cell, that containment thing. He was just like, like, like that. That one guy was like, "Please, do something wrong." And yeah. it's like, 
Mm-hmm. This is kind of kind of like made like some type of comment like you know oh yeah this is only gonna hold me for a while like you know yeah so like yeah so, so he said, knew he knew he was gonna eventually come, come back, back in one way or another yeah. I'm just glad to see what he's gonna do because obviously you know like you know Parentimo is a you know he's a big bad dude big he's, bad he's, he's, he was, I mean he was one of Captain America's biggest foes the in, the, in the comics in the comics he worked directly mm-hmm. under uh, Red Skull so in the comics he was a Nazi in this one he's you know obviously from a you know from a different uh, still, uh, country he's still in uh, German, I think. No, no, no. Uh, he was Sikobia. from um, Sokovia. So, well, I mean, we'll just see what he brings to the table because, like I said, he's but a good he actor. Still, he was still some type of soldier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a good actor. Uh, Marin Timo's an awesome villain. Can't wait to what you know what we have in store for that. Uh, moving on, we have um, our TV shows. You want to do TV shows? Yes. Okay. Um, and I'm not so well, okay. WandaVision. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was gonna. I was gonna tackle next. And the thing is. I like, um, I like uh, um, Elizabeth Olsen, and I love um, what's the guy that plays uh, Vision, uh, Paul Bettany. Paul, Paul, Paul Bettany. Uh, I love them <coughs> as, as 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 their you know respective characters. The, the title though, Wanda Vision. Uh, I mean, I mean, but even then, still people people are even still skeptical of the show itself because it's going to take place in the fifties. Um, it's in an alternate. 50s. Yeah, an alternate version of the. And 50s I believe and um, we and we even got the announcement that um, this actress, which uh, forgot who, sh- which what? I'm kind of uh, excited about because I'm sure this is when when did have they announced dates? I, I don't remember. If they announced yeah, they announced. Dates. I, I don't have the dates, but they did announce dates. Well, so for okay, the shows they only announced like so, fall 2020. Okay, so spring uh, so here's the thing though. Uh, I know I wanted to do movies first, but because um, since we're talking about Wandavision. Uh, Wanda um, Elizabeth Olsen's character is also going to be appearing in the new Doctor Strange movie, yeah. which is one of one of the announcements they made for Phase Four, mm-hmm. which is one I'm super excited about. Um, and it's the multiverse, and Doctor Strange and the multiverse of madness, and it's supposed to be uh, like a horror. A, a horror. Yeah. So I'm wondering, in that, since it's the multiverse, if that's how she gets to that different alternate universe yeah. th- that we're, and then that's where the show's going to take place. Yeah, so, yeah, like, like Steven said, you know, uh, so WandaVision is going to star Elizabeth Olsen and Paul Bettany, also going to star, I forget her name, um, but she's also going to be playing Mar- Maria Rambo, I believe, in that series, is that one? Rambo. Uh, which is a little girl who came out of Captain Marvel. Uh, in the comics, oh, she, she eventually becomes Captain Marvel, uh, or a version of Captain Marvel. She's coming a version of something... Yeah. 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 It's going to be an older <laughs> version, though. I can't pronounce her name. I'm not hearing it. I'm not hearing it. I'm not hearing it. I'm not hearing it. But, yeah, she's, um, uh, she's going to be playing uh, Maria Rambo. So, like I said, you know, this can go either way because, obviously, Mar- Mar- you know, that character, it wasn't wasn't um, alive in the 50s. So, how is you know, how's it going to work out? So, the whole 50s thing... I'm a little like I'm well, not. Well, again, you know, we just gotta see how everything. It's gonna, gonna be jumping out. from yeah. this, this, you know, timeline, timeline. You know, it's it's gonna be a pretty crazy ride uh, to lead us into Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Which, when I heard that title, I'm like, that is a crazy title, and I am just so stoked for it because I I like Doctor Strange and the fact that they're gonna be tackling a whole kind of like horror uh, aspect of this is just you know it's awesome. Then the villain could be Nightmare, and of course he's like the villain who uh, takes control of people's astral forms, torturing them in their oh, dreams and all that. God. So that's gonna be interesting to see. So wonder how that's gonna take place. Yeah. Or even like I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> so there we'll you see. go. Uh, we'll see like concept soon, concept art, what they're gonna do with it. All that good stuff. So there you go. You got WandaVision. You got Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Um, then we're finally going to see what's, what uh, what Loki has been up to. What, where, uh, where, 20, where, what 2012 where Loki's going to be up to. Yeah. yeah the 20, thing is, and the thing is with that, like, it's 2012 Loki. That means that was, you know, uh, uh, Avengers Loki. After, after uh, if you remember from 20, from 2012 Avengers, you know, when the Incredible Hulk, you know, just, just beats the crap out of him. And if, you, and if you've seen Endgame, you know like directly after that, that's when he gets a test rack and he just vanishes. So that's where wow. this show is going to pick up. And he died in Infinity War. So yeah. So but what I'm saying is that hurt. what I'm saying is that like this is 2012 Loki, so he's not going to have that story arc that he had in uh, in the Dark World 
or uh, you know, or Infinity where He's not gonna have that arc. He's still gonna be the well, bad. Let, let, let's hope that the writers remember that. And don't. Uh, That's what they said though. He, that he's gonna, know, he's, know, he's, saying, he's gonna be I'm that bad, like, that pissed off some, guy that just got his ass beat. That so, sometimes you know they getting they effed up. So yeah, but uh, I don't know. Um, one that I'm excited about, um, and I don't know why people always you know always give this character uh, a heckle. Um, Hawkeye. I, 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 I just I, I like Jeremy Renner. I'm a Jeremy Renner fan. Love him. He's really cool. Um, I was so happy when he was uh, when he was cast as Hawkeye from the very beginning, and he was he's probably been one of my favorites. You know that you know non power Avenger. You know like just straight up arrows, bro. Come yeah. on. <laughs> What's the uh, character that's gonna be announced? That's gonna that uh, make it de- de- debuted in this show. I forgot. Um, Kate Bishop. There you go. Yeah, Kate Bishop. He's like uh, another Hawkeye, right? She, she is she? Hawkeye's apprentice, which is Hawkeye girl. Is and, and and the thing is, and it, it's not what everybody speculated as. It's not gonna be his daughter. No, no. We see we've seen his daughter. His daughter is not named Kate. Yeah. So. Unless, unless you change their name. Not much as you know is has has uh, been announced about that. Other than like I said, it's a Hawkeye series, and it's gonna explore more of his. Um, Ronin character. Yeah, I'm really so, so excited about that. We'll see how that goes, and obviously the uh, the logo for that show has a uh, you know the, the Hawkeye logo from one of his uh, famous you know comic book lines. So yeah, people are excited about that. And then the last show that was announced is gonna be an animated show, uh, <sighs> an anthology series called What If. Honestly, course. like I love that, and people are like, oh, you know, what, what do we need that? But like, I don't care. Like, it's just a possibility of what we can get. Like, and what, if you what look. If if that you, happened. Yeah, and it's like, what if dot 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 question mark? Like, what if this happened? Yeah, but you know, I think a lot of them too were were like that when when the comics came out, and then when they started reading, they're like, oh, these are fucking badass. They're like, like, yeah, they're like one offs. Yeah. Like, if you look in the uh, in the logo, if you zoom in, there's a kind of uh, like, a, kinda like a Marvel zombies. Everybody was like, Marvel there, zombies. There, there's and then, a uh, and that ended up being like a real popular series. But like I said, if you zoom into the logo of the what if um, uh, you know TV series. Which is going to be animated, and it's going to have the voice talents of every actor that's played these characters in the movie. Um, you see, like a zombie version of Captain America. So there's going to it's it's going to look, it, look online. Um, I can't remember what it was, but it was a fan fan um, fan made movie on YouTube, and they did the uh, the the zombie uh, uh, Marvel zombie, mm-hmm. and it's uh, Spider Man and Captain America. Oh, yeah. It looks fucking badass, and then at the very end, fucking Hulk comes out. <laughs> so shit. So um, yeah, so that's the what if uh, animated series, uh, <coughs> which is include exit. a lot of you know returning characters, yeah, like voicing, the, their, voicing their, own their own characters, which is awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, we Ma- also what were you say? Uh, Michael Worker is going to return. Oh yes, so Michael Rooker, Chris maybe, Evans, maybe, we're maybe. get a uh, what if Young Dude didn't die. God, it's so cool. Like, just like, like, just the possibilities. Like, you know, just what if this, what if that. Like, and, and that's that's for me very exciting. I can't wait to check that out. Um, we're gonna go up to a movie that's been announced, and this is gonna be the first uh, Asian-led uh, superhero movie in that of Shang Chi and the Legend of I'm the Ten Rings. I'm a little Rings. excited for this one. Um, I'm not too familiar with the character Chang Ching, but what I'm excited about it is Fu. is because of the uh, Mandarin, the Mandarin, the real Mandarin, the real Mandarin. Chang Chi and the legends in the Legend of the Ten Rings. Ten Rings. So I'm really so. excited about it because I, I was so disappointed with Iron Man Three. Yeah. I was so disappointed. And we, sorry, but you already got cast. Everything other than the Mandarin was good. The Mandarin part, eh, eh, yeah. I am the Mandarin. No, I mean, he, no, you're not. Uh, <laughs> he, he didn't really play it that bad i mean he was just, I, I like the way that he you know they they were how they were showing like the like the footage and stuff and he's like and you know, oh and like when he was when he was explaining the uh the whole uh, about the um oh, is it the, the cookie the the fortune cookies he's like you know the i forgot what he was saying like you know Americans are the ones that created the fortune cookie, and, and uh, it's like, it oh, so it's, menacing. It's like, yeah, and then and then for for it to be just like, oh, he's just a, a, a British actor that's uh, a Trevor, hack, a hack, Trevor, Trevor, <laughs> and, Trevor. And, and then he, he was, was all he's, scared. He's, all, he's, he's on Mandarin, like, <laughs> drunk. <laughs> Shit, I was like, oh man, I was I was so mad with you that. You see the butt the butt wiser cans? Oh. Yeah, they're watching soccer and shit. 
So, um, so that's that's why I'm that's why I'm gonna do more excited for this one. So we'll see about the uh, Shang Chi Legend of the Ten Rings. They said, they said these 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 uh, these shows and movies were announced with you know like I said little to no information you know other than the actors and you know and kind of more or less what dates are gonna be coming out. Um, we so also have uh, so let me ask you about this next one. Uh, okay, so which one's gonna kick off Phase Four? Internals. Oh, wait, Black, Black Widow. Widow. Black Widow. So what do y'all think about Black Widow? Taskmaster's going to be in it. Taskmaster, um, David Harbour, Florence Pugh. And it's funny because have y'all seen? Oh, he hasn't seen Stranger Things. Don't. <laughs> but it, it, it's a character. Doesn't that he play like is like a like a Russian character that like he plays uh, Alexei, which is the Red Guardian. And if you know Stranger Things, it's a character in Stranger Things too. I see. Steven, Alexi, Steven, you're going to hate me for doing this, but I'm sorry. I have to go to the restroom, so y'all continue this conversation, please. Oh my God. So unprofessional, bro. I know. So unprofessional. But um. Uh, but um. Hey, we're doing a but um without you. I know. If you listen quietly, he's gonna. You're gonna hear a toilet flush in the background. <laughs> <laughs> so Black Widow. Um, I, I'm a little excited for this. I'm. I'm curious how it's gonna be. I mean, because I mean, obviously the events of Endgame, you know. Is it going to be a present Black Widow? Is it going to be a past Black Widow? Is it going to be it's like... Been, it's been told that it's going to be t- taking place is after it? Civil War and before Infinity War. Hmm. So yes, it's going to be having to deal with what she's been doing between those two movies. And yes, that is true. I heard that too. <laughs> uh, Rachel Weisz is going to be also um, um, in the movie. She comes on The Mummies. So <clears throat> he kind of just... Wasted what he just did. Well, not wasted because he he used the rush. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna do just a quick, uh, just Damn a it. quick snap break, real quick, and then we're just, we're gonna be like right back, real real quick. You know? Okay, let's do this fucking shit. Just joining us, or maybe you haven't been watching, whatever. Uh, we are drinking um, the Kung Fu Robot IPA from Fort Tap, and uh, we were drinking the Hoppy Cloud Fuzzy IPA from Texas Beer Co. Check out both beers, they are awesome. And uh, we were just talking about all the uh, Marvel announcements that came out from this year's Comic Con. Uh, we were talking about Black Widow before we went on our little break, real quick. And uh, so, yeah, Black Widow, guys. Uh, what, what, what's, what do you, what's thoughts? I know we were talking a little bit about it. The thing is, I, I, I love Black Widow, and uh, you know she's well deserved of her, of her movie. I just honestly think, and I hate to say it, that she, you know, her, the announcement of her movie was overshadowed by all, the, all, the, all these other announcements, and it I think we should have gotten it, I think we should have gotten it a long time ago. We should, uh, definitely, yeah, that's, that's, yeah, definitely we should have gotten a long we time ago. We should either gotten it in, Especially uh, now that she so know. she came out in phase one, because Iron Man 2 was part of phase one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I think we should either gotten it either phase two or at least phase three. That could have been a, that could have been a good phase three startup. Yeah. Uh, just and it it, it 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 can't even have to relate to anything else. It could have, it could have been like either uh, post uh, Civil War, because um, Civil War was Phase Two, mm-hmm. and you know, or um, even post um, Avengers: Age of Ultron. Uh, mm-hmm. I think it would have been a, a good kickoff for uh, Phase Three and Civil War was Phase Two. Civil War was Phase Three. No, Civil War is Phase. Two, we're, 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 gonna, we're gonna go in phase four, bro. I mean, not Civil War, uh, Winter Soldier. Oh, That's what I was, I was like. Oh, Never mind. Like, oh. <laughs> po- post <laughs> post Winter Soldier, because I mean, she she had, she had a pretty big part in, in Winter Soldier. Yeah, that's when it kind of like she kind of like um, more developed her character. Yeah, so that. I think I think we, uh, we could have gotten, um, you know, it could have been a good kickoff for phase three. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think I think this is just long overdue for this character for for uh, Scarlett Johansson. Um, I mean, she she kind of paved the way for uh, female uh, superheroism. Um, I mean, it kind of sucks that she wasn't in that scene in Endgame. <sighs> yeah, it's really sucked. But I could have I could have seen her like right in the middle of, of all of them, just just like yeah. But anyway, so moving on. <clears throat> Um, <clears throat> the 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 one I really wanted to ask you guys about is what do y'all really think about this one? Um, I've never been a big fan of these movies, of his movies. 
Um, the third one was, was, you know, funny that, you know, since we got director uh, Taika Waititi in it. Waititi. But Waititi. 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 Martini, whatever. <laughs> uh, Martini. So the new Thor movie, Love of Thunder. Love and Thunder. Love and Thunder. Oh, okay. Love and Thunder. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so yeah, this is the fourth Thor movie that's gonna be coming out, which is uh, which sees the return of uh, Taika Waititi as a director, which honestly I cannot be more excited about because, you know, obviously we're big fans of his. You know, uh, what we oh, do. Oh, you're still gonna see Fat Thor though. No, honestly, no. Nah, 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 nah. nah. And the thing is, um, oh, well, my my thing is, is how are they gonna play? The, how are they gonna play it when he left with the Guardians? And that's the thing. Um, <clears throat> and it's, it's already out there that James Gunn already said that Guardians Volume 3 is going to be after the event of Thor Love and Thunder. So, um, I'm kind of hoping they're going to, uh, they'll just kind of feature them. Like, oh, gonna, we're going to drop uh, you off here. And I think they're going to address They have to address it because obviously <laughs> yeah. he, that, that was the, like, one of the main in, you know, parts of the end of Endgame was that he. Yeah, uh, you're the captain. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> like you know, his, his banter exactly. with the Guardians <laughs> and like. You know, people are like, oh, you know, are we getting as Guardians of the Galaxy? You know, and, you know, we're not getting that just yet. <sighs> but that would be that would've so been cool. awesome. Uh, but the thing is, you know, we are getting and Thor. And I, I can see Taiko, you know, tackling Guardians. But the thing is, Guardians is like, it's, it's like James, James Gunn's, Gunn's baby. baby, man. Mm-hmm. Um, so we are getting Valkyrie back. She is, the, you know, now the new king of Asgard. Queen. And, uh, no, king. she's the king. Okay. And she's looking for her queen. Looking for her queen. Uh, and the thing is, like, people are, oh, you know, it's the first, uh, you know, um, um, you know, L- LBGQ in character, and it's like, you know, like, like, I don't know, like, people make, Choose like, your words wisely. N- n- I'm not saying that, like, I'm not saying, like, oh, it's not cool, like, no, like, that's awesome, you know, but it's just like, like, people are like, oh, it's the first LGBTQ, and like, like, should have happened a long time like, ago. Yeah, I mean, yeah, not only that, it should have a long time ago, and like, you know, it's just, like, just, it's, she, she, you know, she, she needs her queen, leave it at that, like, you know, it's it's not like you know, oh, like the first, you know, like she, no, she's Valkyrie, she's her own character. You know, don't like let the fact <coughs> that you know that she's uh, you know, um, a lesbian character define her. I mean, yeah, like she's a lesbian character, and that's awesome. You know, but it's not like you know, like oh, finally, like you know, but yeah, I don't know, I don't explain it. Like, you know, thing thing is, these characters people make such a big deal about it, and which is you know, and maybe they should be, but my, I'm, I'm looking at like you know, like. They shouldn't, you know, like they shouldn't because it should have happened a long time ago, and it shouldn't, it shouldn't be like, you know, oh, we got a first, for for first straight character, like it's just no, it's you know, it's it's um, like it just should be a given, and what I'm trying to say, like you know, Valkyrie is there, you know, it was teased in uh in um Thor Ragnarok that you know she is a lesbian character. And that's awesome. Like, you know, I'm glad that, you know, they're, they're highlighting yeah, that. Yeah, because wasn't she in love with her uh, commander or yeah. whatever it was? Um, the, from the yeah. Leader of so that's the Val- what I'm saying. The leader like, of the Valkyrie. That's what I'm saying. Like, it was in that movie. And people, people weren't making a big deal about it then. So why are they making a big deal about it now? Like, it's fine. Like, it's just okay. Like, you know, it's, 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 it's what our culture is nowadays. And it's, it's not like a, a weird it's 2019, thing. people. Yeah, come on. It's not like a weird thing at the point out. Like, oh, look, 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 you know, like, it's fine. Like, you know, like. She's she's there. She's the king, and she has to find her queen. Awesome! I cannot wait till she finds her queen. And you know, I, I know, and Tessa Thompson is you know the perfect you know the perfect actress. Like, I hope it's Cat Dane's character. <laughs> <laughs> um, I kind of I, I kind of hope that Cat Dane's character would come back. Uh, she she was real funny in the in the first two, um, and um, and uh, he said and, uh, he said she was funny. Funny. <laughs> like you know, she she was the one that they kind of landed like the little punchlines in in the first two movies. Yeah, I guess the and one then, thing I will and then say. I, I also liked uh, what's his name too. Um, uh, Alexander Skarsgård. Yeah, Skarsgård. Uh, Doctor Eric. Uh, Doctor Erickson. Erickson. Um, it'd be kind of cool to you know to bring to bring in all the original characters back from the first two movies. One thing that I'm um, kind of iffy about. <coughs> We got the announcement uh, from Taika Waititi himself that um, they're gonna be tackling a uh, a popular <coughs> storyline in, in the Thor, you know, story to where they're gonna introduce um, Jane Foster as female Thor, and you know who played Jane Foster was Mighty Thor, Natalie Portman, and which is cool, you know. I'm glad they're they're introducing that storyline, but when I saw that panel and she comes out, 
and he gives her the hammer. Just something about her 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 reaction and her expression just kind of felt like she just wasn't in it. Like not that she wasn't in it, like that it kind of hit her like oh shit, like what did I get myself into? Because it's it's well known that you know, and as much as, as much as I love Natalie Portman, she's one of, she's, she's one of the one weak links. Of, well, mm-hmm. no, no, no. I was gonna say she was also one of the the throwaway characters. Not that, but um, we we've gotten we've heard stories from previous um, actors about their experiences with the MCU and on on movie sets. Um, how some of them just weren't happy. Um, just know, kind like, of phoned um, it in. Uh, Hugo Weavy was, wasn't was one of them that wasn't too happy. You know, with with the character of Red Skull. Which is, you know, why they, they uh, he didn't replace his role. They recasted him. They recasted him. Um, who played um, um, Malekith on? Oh, I don't even know. Dark World, uh, the Dark Elf. Um, he's he, he's a big character. Uh, he came out in uh, GI Joe. He played Cobra. He played Cobra. <laughs> <laughs> Wasted character. But yeah, I, oh, I know, I know. He's talking about a kid. Yeah, and yeah, apparently the actor yeah, it, was not yeah, happy. Yeah, he, he was not happy because of all the the, the makeup process, uh, how long it took, and then, then for him to do like a five minute scene or something like yeah. that. And then, um, and then she she was kind of one of the ones that kind of came out that she wasn't happy. But I think she, she was more not unhappy with the way the character was utilized. Yeah, and next, and, well. and, and once again, that was before Taika Waititi. So maybe she. That was the reason why she wanted to come back is to work with Taika Waititi because he's, he's an excellent director. And, he, and he, he seems like an awesome person too. I mean, dude, he's funny as hell. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for his, his uh, new movie. Um, oh, Jojo Rabbit. Jojo Rabbit. Oh my god, dude, y'all saw that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the satire. <laughs> and people think I'm a bad guy. <laughs> I could not stop laughing in the part where where they're throwing the knives at the tree. Oh, and, <laughs> and it bounces off and hits the kid in the leg. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty funny. Oh man! Uh, goes, but yeah, hey, I mean, hey Joe, and he just comes out. Hey Jojo, <laughs> what's wrong? <laughs> just a, hey, he's all hey Adolf. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, dude. and then yeah, and then he's the Adolf Hitler. <laughs> just like wow. <laughs> Talk about pushing boundaries. <laughs> yeah. So one of those guys. like I said, like you know, I'm I'm um um. Confident in the fact that Taika Waititi is, you know, helming this movie again, and uh, hopefully he could bring out the best from Natalie Portman. And hopefully we're not disappointed to where she looks like she's pulling it. In I think he'll do good. I mean, if she if she can stick to it, I, I think she, like I think she, she, she like I her think character was like completely written off. I mean, they mentioned it in Thor three, like, oh, me and Jane, we just broke up. No, no, the the, the girls it was more of a, of a the, mutual the, breakup. The girl, <laughs> the girls that took the selfie with like, Thor were like, I'm sorry that Jane broke up with you, and he's like, like oh no. And then he's out telling and goes, it was a mutual breakup. Yeah. I broke up with her. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, like, um, so, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, um, you know, we'll, I'm excited for it. We'll see how it turns out. Um, so that's that's the end of Phase 4, you know. That's, no, no, no. Well, yeah, mm-hmm. Phase 4. There, but yeah. there were, no, no, that's what I'm That's the end of Phase 4. That You know, we got the, our Phase 4. That's our lineup. Are we are talking um, about Doctor Strange and the, and the Multiverse so of Madness? So before we jump into anything else, um, which there is more to jump into, I remember a couple of years back in 2013, five years ago, however long five years ago it was. Um, Two years ago in 2013. <laughs> <laughs> oh um, we got our slate for, for Phase 3. Okay, remember that? We got our slate for Phase 3. We got the Civil War, Doctor Strange, Thor Ragnarok, uh, Guardians Volume 3, Black Panther, two. Uh, two. Adventures in Infinity War Part two. 1 and 2. We got uh, Captain Marvel. We got Inhumans. You know, all, all those announcements. Remember that? Yes. So, Ow. It, it, there's there's no uh, <laughs> there's no secret that like those movies kind of that that phase that lineup went through some major changes. Uh, we never got th- we, we did get the Inhumans. It wasn't a movie, but we got the Inhumans. The show. And it was, was terrible. Disgusting. Uh, and we don't discuss with that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> there were some movies that were added to the lineup as far as like Spider-Man Homecoming and, um, uh, um, and uh, you know, Spider-Man Far From Home added to the Phase 3 lineup. Uh, some dates will move around. You know, stuff like that. You know, we, we, no, the, 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 <laughs> the lineup that was announced wasn't set in stone. I don't it, even it think... Changed. I don't think Ant- Ant-Man and the Wasp were, were part of... Uh, yeah, it wasn't even part of Phase 3, but three. it eventually was. It, it, took the, it took the spot of uh, Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel got pushed. 
to you know to be featured after Infinity War. So my question is, out of the Phase Four that we've talked about, in your opinion, what, which one of these properties do you think is going to either be just not happen, or you know it's going to have some so, some sort of uh, major uh, changes? Thor. Mine is Shang Chi. I think Shang Chi is probably going to go through some either either canceled or changed. And I hate to say it. Because I'm glad to see if you know. Uh, I don't think it's going to get canceled, but it, it there's, a, a, there's, there's a possibility a that there there'd be some changes. I honestly think it's going to go to a TV series, only because. No. Mm. O- only because no. no, only because, and hear me no. out, because. No. I would, mm. you know, um, you know, mm. <laughs> like. Thinking about no. like you know, but a lot of people are gonna know like, oh, what's Shang Chi, you know? And think, yeah, I know there's like Guardians back then. Guardians came out, people were like, what's well, Guardians, and it ended up being a huge success. But you know, who's to say that like, oh, a couple years later, like they're just like, oh, we'll just make it to a TV series, and it'll be you know, on on uh, Disney Plus. That's that's my pick no. for what's gonna be uh, you know kind of changed up a lot is Shang Chi. No. Not to even mention that um, Spider Man uh, Far From Home just just reached over a billion dollars. Worldwide. So, so we know that you know Marvel's gonna keep on to that. So which is the first Spider-Man movie to ever reach that yeah, milestone, which I haven't seen yet. Um, sucks. <laughs> so did you say it sucks? I thought you know that, that sucks. Oh, okay. I was gonna say <laughs> so. It did not like, suck. so I'm pretty sure they're gonna insert a, a new Spider-Man movie into this phase. Well, That's, yeah. Okay. So, I'm sure it's but, gonna be yeah, phase but, five. but but think about it though. That's so what I was telling a, myself a, a lot of these that that were announced, you know, part of Phase Four. Are also TV shows. How many TV shows we got? One, two, three, four, five TV shows. Four, four live action and one animated. Then we got Black Widow. You got yeah, Internals. Four TV shows. Yeah, four, four live action and one animated. Oh, that's gonna be five TV shows. Oh, sorry. Because this is gonna. What if it's gonna be an animated TV show? I don't know basic math. So you know we got Black Widow that's gonna probably kick stuff off, and it, we're probably gonna get Eternals. We got Chang Chi that was announced. Uh, Doctor Strange that was announced and Thor that's uh, it's five movies right there I mean how many mo- how many movies do we get per phase probably five five or six seven maybe like that something like that now, my, my thing is if Shang Chi I mean, if it's, it's the one it'll probably <coughs> be the one to get pushed back just a few months yeah, to back. make room for a, a movie so which one do you think is going to be either pushed back or change or whatever I, my will probably be Doctor Strange just because I mean it's a weird title. Yeah, it's. A, it's I say an Thor because I know title. I know Taika Waititi uh, is also tied or not tied, but this, this guy keeps saying Waititi. Waititi. Who's Taika Waititi. Waititi. Taika Waititi. Waititi. <laughs> Martinis, Waititi, Taika. Anyways, I know Taika was also you know tied to some other stuff too, but um, I know some stuff got pushed back for him too as well. So I think I don't know. I just think that that's what it, you know. I, for me, I feel like Thor's gonna be that one. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull an Eddie real quick, so y'all go ahead and continue. So, okay, so, yeah, honestly, like, I, I, my second choice was Doctor Strange, but obviously because it's, it's, it's pretty wacky, but mm-hmm. at the same time, like, I really hate to see that one. Like, I would hate to see any one of these movies kind of drop off. Yeah. But, I mean, at the same time, you know, back when Phase 3 was announced, uh, the, yeah, Inhumans the Inhumans was, you know, was was announced like, as a movie. Yeah. Vin Diesel was attached to it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Who do you think he would have played? The main guy? Black Bolt. Oh, no. I mean, it would have been good because... He's all model. But then, he's like, all model of family. He's Groot. He is Groot. That is true. But, I don't know. So, I don't know. Like I said, like... I don't know. Maybe the Eternals might be, might be pushed because, like... That's probably the like, most similar thing is Eternals and humans. Well, and humans. I think Eternals and Black Widow are already pretty much set in stone. Well, it might be pushed back. You never know. Just production stuff. You never. You can't predict it. You can't Stupid hip just stuff. smack me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm back. Uh, dang man, these IPAs. Woo, 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 woo. Um, so after um, and I said before we get to the to the big shocker, um, shockers, shocker. All right, um, you know after the after the um, the the Marvel panel was wrapping up, they brought everybody out to take a picture with the Black Widow hats. Um, and uh, Kevin Feige did mention, oh, you know, you know, like there's there's so much more we haven't announced. We haven't announced what? <laughs> because y'all were talking about Eternals, and you think uh, I heard you say that you think that Eternals might be one that could be pushed back. That's the second choice, <clears throat> yeah. Um, 
I'm gonna agree with you on that one because just such uh, because of a lot of the big names that were announced for that movie scheduling. You think? Um, it could either be scheduling. There could be some other kind of types of conflicts that that could evolve with that. But I know Angel, um, Angelina Jolie is doing the Maleficent, the Maleficent. Maleficent sequel. It's already done though. Like she already done yeah, filming they, it. Yeah, but they could still they could still do reshoots. Right now they have yeah. the trailer out, but you know, there there still could be reshoots you know, and you know, stuff like Hollywood that and reshoots stuff like that. I think it's set in stone already. I mean, they already had two trailers out. They're 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 committed to it. But I mean, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> even then, because like, she was the she was one of the first ones that they announced. But she she they they hadn't she hadn't been like fully committed yet. And then the second one that was announced was Samuel Hayek. Was it? Yeah, Samuel Hayek was the second one that really? I heard. Or the, at least that I, was, I that I, I heard of. But, I was honestly surprised but, when I heard her name at Comic Con. I was like, what? But anyways. Uh, so yeah, someone, I heard her name too. Selma Hayek was the first, was the second one that I heard. I thought Camille was the second and one. And then he was the third then, one. I've, and I've then heard. Uh, and then they they like right away she was already like like committed to it. And then uh, Camille was the third one that I heard of. And then he was committed to it. I didn't hear Angelina Jolie fully commit to it until Comic Con, or like even like like a few days before Comic Con. And she was one of the first ones that they that they were already kind of like talking about. Yeah. Way before. This is the last one they announced. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So, you know, going back to, uh, like I said. Because that, that's also when Keanu Reeves got, name got thrown into the mix, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, they had, uh, you know, they announced all these properties, uh, brought out everybody to take a picture. Kevin Feige, you know, mm-hmm. uh, said, uh, hey, you know, we, you know, we were so much talking about, he goes, I haven't even talked about Black Panther 2, uh, uh, Captain, Captain Marvel, Marvel 2. 2. Uh, Guardians, Guardians Volume Three. Volume 3. He goes, I haven't talked about Fantastic Four. Yeah, and originally, Gar- uh, Guardians Three was was supposed to be the kickoff for Phase Four. Yeah, yeah. it was supposed to start off after. But Endgame. then that, that's when all that that drama happened behind the scenes, and then uh, of course we know now that James Gunn is committed to making the Suicide Squad, and then after that he's gonna do Guardians Volume Three. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So and then he then he like dropped dropped a bombshell, <coughs> which. I'm not reading too much into, you know, it, it's going to have happened eventually, but not anytime soon. He, looked like, he goes, I haven't even mentioned Fantastic Four or the mutants. I'm like, we oh, have mutants. Cool. You know, and like, honestly, like, I'm, I'm expecting that. People are like, people are like, oh, Kevin Feige announces Fantastic Four. Like, no, he didn't. He, he just, didn't. He just, he just said, like, just, we're working on it. He's men- he mentioned them. He goes, yeah, they're, like, they're, they're in the process. They're it's developing it. Yeah. Like, it's nothing set in stone. Just chill. Like. But one thing that is set in stone, and one thing that was a huge surprise, and I can't believe that I'm saying this day and age, I'm so surprised about, guys, we're getting Blade in Vampires in MCU. Mahersha Ali, Academy Award winner from uh, Moonlight, and from, uh, what's that other <laughs> just movie? Imagine, uh, Green Book. I just imagine him just carrying that around. <laughs> it's funny. And, and the thing is, and, and we all watched Alita. Y'all, yeah. y'all keep going, y'all keep going. I'm going to grab the last, how many were there? Just one more. One more? Okay, I grabbed the last one. Um, so, Marshall, I mean, we've all seen the leader. Um, and, you know, he's, he's, he dressed like he's just... He's dressed like Blade. He dressed like he shops in the Matrix. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, you I can mean... You totally like, see him as Blade. You can totally see him as Blade. The and thing is, sunglasses. The thing is... Um, and that's, that's not a Phase 4 movie. That's a, that's a Phase 5. They already announced it. It's, too ha- it's, it's half that. Half it. Um, but I never thought I'd ever say that. Like, holy shit, dude, we're getting Blade in MCU. Blade, like, just the so, fact, just the fact that they're confident enough <clears> to be like, oh yeah, in this universe that we we followed for over ten years, there's fucking vampires. <laughs> like, what the hell? And well, I mean, there, apparently there's a lot of hidden things that were that were always there. But um, I mean, yes, okay. Look, I was excited for Blade. Blade, you know, is cool. But here, here's my thing with with it though is the fact that don't you dare that, say it. What what are you gonna say? I don't know. Are you, are you saying something about Wesley Snipes or something? Or no, 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 no. So, good. No. I, was, I was watching the what we do in the shadows, and I saw that episode. <laughs> <laughs> what is, is that? Sh- Wesley? What is shitty Wi-Fi? Wesley, <laughs> I got the best Wi-Fi. You got the best Wi-Fi. <laughs> so no, no, no. My thing, my thing that I was gonna say about it, like yes, yeah, cool that they're bringing Blade into the MCU. But remember, Blade was also one one of the first R-rated movies from Marvel. Yeah, it's because of the violence and, and the blood because of, of vampires. <clears throat> but my 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 ma- major take on it is because they we do eventually get 
He's trying to make sure that he that you have less than you. All right, I got See, my, look, look, look. Oh, this oh, guy. Ooh, ooh. What? <laughs> oh, oh, no. no. <laughs> I only allow because he bought the damn beer. <laughs> Asshole. I'll allow it. But uh, no, my take on it is because of that supposedly that we're, we're getting this Jared Leto Morpheus movie. And but that's all Sony, though. Yeah, yeah. But my thing is, is that that cool they, 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 they yeah. eventually okay. uh, Morpheus and Blade do team up together and, and to take down the, uh, the vampires and stuff like that and to, to fight the supernatural. That'd be cool if, so- if Sony and Marvel just officially just team but, up. But honestly, like Sony's trying to get Spider-Man back and they're not going to get him back. Do you think they would honestly like, yeah, well, they, 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 do you think I, they would I, honestly I, give another one of the characters? They like, kind of could. Because I saw the story to where like if Spider-Man Far From Home didn't doesn't leave. make a billion dollars worldwide. So when it's gonna take it back, <laughs> but that's gonna be that, that's gonna be so dumb on their part if they do something like that. And and and, and, and not to overshadow the, the announcement of Blade. I mean, yes, dude, I'm so excited. Yes, I can see. Uh, or Ali. Yeah, playing Blade, especially like y'all mentioned that you know how he was on on Alita. That's like I was like, dude, that's Blade. That's <laughs> yeah, totally yeah. Blade. Totally Blade. <laughs> Um, so if you guys haven't seen that, that was actually a screen, te- a screen test. Yeah, a blade. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a full screen test. Full hours. screen test. And then it, it was funny too that that uh, what Kevin Feige said that you know when he calls you you you, you answer you, you answer. Right. When, when Rush Ali calls you, you answer. He has two Oscars in his pocket. You answer. But this also I can brings imagine, an issue. I can imagine like, look, it's my Rush Ali. Like, ding ding, you hear that? Yeah, that's my Oscar right there. This right. also brings an issue that the Netflix shows aren't canon. In the MCU, oh, it's, that that was a given. I mean, he play Cottonmouth, and yeah, Luke, Luke Cage. Well, I mean, the other thing though too during during the uh, shows, um, what's her name? It came out on Luke Cage. Also came out in uh, she she played Civil a, War. A, a quick part in oh, Civil yeah, War. Um, she was the, the mother. Of, yeah, she that's was, her name in, in Luke Cage. In Luke yeah. Cage, but she was the mother of the deceased uh, deceased uh, college student uh, aid worker. Yeah, aid worker. Yeah, and. So that's why people are like, oh, is this like a tie to the... And eventually... It, it, I mean, no, no. Yeah, it, 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 didn't, it didn't pan either out. Either way, those shows yeah. are canceled, so... Ugh. Yeah, they're canceled. We're not going to see them anytime soon. So that was your phase four and uh, like phase a couple of your phase five. I'm, so, I'm just so excited five. for Blade. Uh, and, and, it's, and it's just weird to say that, like, oh, we're getting Blade and MCU. And what you're going to get in Disney Plus, yeah. Yeah. as far as the shows go. So Marvel really knocked it out of the park. We didn't um, see nothing about Star Wars, though, but... Yeah, and uh, I mean uh, that's D- gonna be that's gonna be at at, at D twenty three. Yeah, D twenty three is coming up in yeah, a couple. Yeah, I want to wait. I want to wait. I want to wait for D twenty three. So we'll do to, an episode to, on to that talk about Star Wars. Um, and I know there's a lot of stuff too that's going on. With um, I right, like another trailer, the first ever trailer for the Mandalorian. Oh God, I can't wait! Can't so wait! <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna happen. Um, but we are running out of time. Uh, real quick, in one word, can you guys uh, tell me what you guys thought about the new Zombie Land trailer? Awesome. One, one word. Uh, uh, uh. No, no, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and hilarious. I cannot wait to watch that movie. It's going to be funny as fuck. Sorry for cussing. Um, but that's episode 26, not 5. 26. Stupid. Uh, of <laughs> geeking and drinking. <sighs> and um, if you haven't checked out Chase's Beer Cold, check them out. Uh, fantastic beers. They're going to be having their October Taylor, uh, o- Taylor Fest. I'm sorry. Uh, coming out pretty soon, so look out for that. Yeah, all the um, Oktoberfest beers are going to be coming out pretty soon, so August. check them out. Check check out uh, um, Texas Beer Co. I'm not sure if Fortap does one. Uh, I know they, they have a certain amount, but if they do, we'll announce that one as well. Fortap, you have, um, you have a month. Let's do this. Let's yes. do it, baby. Let's, Let's do it. Collaborate. Um, check out Fortap. Check, check out Texas Beer Co. Uh, links are in the description below, so check it out. Um, Check out uh, uh, Derek Jenkins' his page on Etsy. Uh, find, it, find, some, find yourself some good glasses. Check out Crafting with a Smile with the Koozies. Like, once again, link in the description. Uh, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Play. Uh, anywhere you find podcasts, down below. Just click it and you find our podcast. Share it with your friends. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. And um, anything, anything else you guys want to throw out there? We love y'all. We love you. Uh, thanks for all the support. Thank you. We reached and, over 200 um, downloads on audio. Keep it coming. Uh, we, you know, we, audio we, is pretty much our main focus. 
at this point yeah i think so i mean we love doing the video uh, and stuff like that but you know audio is one of our main focuses and um also you know again thanks for the support keep it keep it local drink craft beer i mean enjoy enjoy what you what you drink but you know let's let's, let's support our, our our local texas craft beer let's, let's put down that butt light and, yeah uh, damon put down the natural light girl. Just put down that butt light that natural light and Drink some Kung Fu Tech Robot IPA. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's a show. For Matthew, for Steven, I'm Eddie. We'll see you guys later.